I know reverb is on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, bit, hold on. I, I can't hear my BGM. Hold on, hold on. I think you guys can hear it though. Mm, there it is. Yay! Yeah, I have I have reverb on. Yes, I know it's weird. I know it's weird. Hello everyone! Thank you for the five gifted members, Rem Force and the one earlier. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very, very generous of you. Arigato. Thank you so much. Um, if you got a member today. Oh, audio's a little loud. Okay, hold on. There. That should be better. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little loud. I turned it down. Is it good now? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I have something to show you guys. Uh, I have something to show you guys. So today, <clears throat> that's something uh, pretty pretty exciting. So I had a singing lesson earlier. I hope you guys had a good day. Yeah, it's fine now. Good, good. I had a singing lesson today, and there's a song I've been learning for a couple months now, <laughs> but I couldn't get the pacing down. I, I'll sing it for you guys today. Uh, Zankyo Sanka by Aimer. I love, I love. Amer songs. I love her songs so much. Um, but yeah, it her pacing is really tough. <laughs> you're Pim Minhara, oh no! Hello! Hello, I heard you're teaching art. I'm not exactly teaching art, I'm just giving tips. I am not qualified enough to be a teacher. Uh, but yes, we will be doing some line art today. Uh, we're line arting our maid picture here. Uh, I need to do this for a Valentine's thing. And... I figured I would just do this on stream. <laughs> cause, cause I'm busy, so yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, yeah. So today I had an art, uh, not art lesson. <laughs> I don't take art lessons. Um, I had a singing lesson today uh, and we worked on Zankyo Sanka by Aimer. Uh, I haven't been able to sing it for a long, long time. I, I just couldn't. But today I managed to get through the whole song with like minimal tripping. So I was hoping I could I could show you guys if it's okay. Do you guys even want singing today? Chad. <laughs> Do you guys even want it? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'll turn down uh, my uh, thing and then I will... Uh... <laughs> Hold on, where'd it go? I had it up. I had it all prepped and now I'm I'm tripping again. Uh okay, let's see. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is. Let me know if it's too loud, okay? <clears throat> it should be good. Oh no, no, wait, you guys can't hear it. Hold on. <laughs> this is pro streamer. Pro streamer of Monica Oshina. I am obviously so good at audio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's a good level. La da 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 つまずくことの強くなった光の痛みも痛みも全部抱きしめて選ばれなければいえるあーのーアイトリップオッケーウェイスターティングオーバーウェイスターティングオーバーアイガーネーヴェスアイガーネーヴェスおおおおおおおお
週の月を添えて転がるように風を切ってつまずくごとん強くなった怒りも痛みも怒りも全部抱きしめて選ばられなければ選べばいい恋を届け夜のその向こうへ涙で滲んでたあんなに遠くの景色まで響き渡れ何を奏でて誰に届けかって確かなままでいいどんなに暗い感情もどんなに願い葛藤も歌と地で残響ダッタラッタッタラッタッタッタラッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタ口先よりも胸を張って抱いた夢の狩りも全部たどるだけ逃げ出すため心まで来たんじゃないだろう、mm. oh <laughs> ばれなければ選べばいい、うん、声を枯らして燃える花のように闇間を照らしたら曖昧すぎる世界も夜べにして夜を数えて朝を描くような鮮やかな音を鳴らすどんなに深い後悔もどんなに高い限界も書き消して残響<笑> There! I'm still tripping over the, 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 the freaking that one phrase the, the tri- <laughs> I wasn't chosen so I'll choose That line? e l a b a e l a b a r e n a k e r e b a e l a b e b a e It's so hard! <laughs> the small hiccups there. Yeah, there's some words I'm still tripping over. But that was the first time that I was.、Um, today is the first day that I'm able to actually like, get through the song. So I take that as a win! I take that as a win! <laughs> still, still learning. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yay! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> okay, okay, enough, enough for today. That's what I wanted to show you guys. That's what I wanted to show you guys today. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 let, me, let me turn off the、uh, reverb. <laughs> the reverb, put away my mic.、Um, and then turn on the BGM again. Hold on. Where's my BGM? Where's my BGM? There it is. Ah! <laughs> Sorry for the scuff, guys! Alt tab. Hold、oh, on, where, where do. <laughs> eh? 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 Tuto? Tuto? I think, I think this is good. I think.、Mm, maybe right here?、Mm, maybe a little bit more. I'm just trying to. Scoot back in my chair to see if I'm comfy. Because it's gonna be a long drawing session today. Ah, 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 ah. Wonderful! Regardless, scuff makes it genuine. Well, we're continuing to work on it, so eventually. I hope to get that、uh, get that song to a place where it's like scuffless. Yeah, new BGM for drawing because I was bored of the other one. I have to listen to it for hours, so. This one! I thought was really cute, so. <laughs> so I chose this one. The BGM is still loud?、Mm. How about now? I think this is good right here. There we are. Better? Seems okay. It's Gucci now! 
Uh, yeah, that seems good. Okay, okay, let me... I think this should be good. There it is. Hello, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You think it's okay? It's okay! Uh, what? <laughs> is it good? Okay, okay means it's not very good. It's okay, okay, okay. I, I don't know, I never know what you guys mean. YouTube? Uh, welcome! If you're if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to the first stream that you're experiencing with me. Uh, very chill stream today, so... Not gonna be a lot of excitement. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna be lion arting, and I'm just gonna be giving some tips while I work. Yeah, this is for Valentine's Day. Uh, I actually commissioned something similar, but... It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted for the thing I needed it for. So, I guess I'm drawing my own. So that's that's what this is. This is this is. <laughs> hello, hello, Rafa. Oh, five dollars, you fab, breezy love machine. Hi, Sheena. I found you own a Benelli Nova. I have a Benelli Supernova myself. I just want to see if exquisite taste. I'm I'm sh uh, in shotguns. Ah, thank you, thank you for the super. Mwah. I'm glad there's another Benelli Nova uh, owner in my chat. <laughs> Do you... What do you use? Do you go shoot clays too? I like shooting clays. Did it turn out NSFW again? No, it didn't turn out NSFW. It was just wasn't in the right orientation I needed it for. So... That's why. <laughs> that's why we're drawing our own. Yeah, sometimes if you want to do it right, you gotta do it yourself. It's cute though. I'm still gonna show you guys. Um... The commission. But... But we're gonna draw our own, because it didn't really turn out the way I wanted, so... Uh, yeah, the artist did good, it's just that uh, I think I wanted something different. Yeah, I wanted something else. And I just didn't get it, so... <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Mm. Uh, that means we just get two, exactly, it just means you get more. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how would you rate your aim? Uh, I'm a pretty good shot. I'm a pretty good shot. Yeah. Pretty good aim, I would say. I don't know what you want me to say about that. <laughs> I have pretty good aim. Yeah. Mm. So now I'm just, uh, like, turning down the opacity. And we're just gonna go pick a... Pick a thickness to line with. Uh, maybe thinner? I wanted to try like a different line art style today. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a different style, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, I'm trying to figure out a pen too. Like a pen that I'm comfy with. Hmm. I love the ketchup. Yeah! Ketchup. My uh, beverage of choice. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. How dare you. <laughs> as far as the RMCP... What's the RCMP? What's an RCMP? I don't know. Don't answer that if it's... <laughs> don't answer that. I don't know what that is. Um... Ketchup, it's close to tomato juice. Oh, the Canadian popo. Oh, the oh, the mounted police. Oh, that's something I haven't heard in a while. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really <laughs> think about the popo or the consequences of my actions. <laughs> I don't think about the popo or the consequences of my actions. <laughs> JK, it's a, it's a... I hope you guys know it's a joke, but anyways... <laughs> uh, hello! Living the GTA lifestyle? Exactly. Exactly. Mm, that's exactly what I'm doing. Look, I'm an artist, okay? There's not much, like, excitement that goes on in my life. This is, like, the only bit of excitement that I'm ever getting. And so... <laughs> I 
I'm just enjoying it, okay? Is it really that bad? Nani ga warui no? Nani ga warui no? Let's see. I'm jealous of your excitement. <laughs> excitement? For life? For drawing? I don't know, man. It's not always like this. It's not always like this. I too have days where I have trouble getting out of bed. It happens more often than you guys might think. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually quite a number of days that I get up and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, not today. Oh my gosh. Mm. So it's nice to see you happy. Oh, thank you. So I'm really struggling with my strokes right now. Um, I'm really embarrassed about this, but... Uh, I started like more hardcore working out this week, right? And <laughs> well, I'm very tired. Uh, my legs are so tired. I did an hour of working out total yesterday. And I'm just like so freaking tired. My legs are like jello. My arms are literally like, every time I flex my finger, my entire arm hurts, you know? So, it, it's it's quite a struggle today. Uh, so bear with me while I am shaky trying to deal with this. <laughs> Isn't that like the worst for an artist? Yeah, but I also want a stronger body, so it's fine. I don't really draw super often since I'm more of a... I'm more of a streamer now than just like an artist, so... I don't draw as much as I used to. Yeah, so so it's fine. Yeah. I need a massage. I do need a massage. Oh my god. But they're so expensive, so I'll hold off. Hmm, I can't can't really afford it right now. Did you miss it? Miss what? Miss what? Uh oh, miss miss being an artist. Yes and no. Yes and no. Um how do I describe this? <laughs> How do I describe this? Um, no, no. Ask my sister for a massage. No. No. Like any siblings, we're like, we don't tell each other we love each other. We don't like, um, we don't hug each other. We don't. Every time our feet accidentally touch as we're walking by each other in our room, when that happens, we're just like, ew. <laughs> Like freak out, everybody. <laughs> Real sibling hours. Yeah, it's it's like that. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> Those are real siblings, exactly. Like all siblings, we too suffer <laughs> like that as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're really close, and yet we still are siblings, you know? There's no way around that. <laughs> There's no way around that. Mm. I don't think that'll ever change. Yeah, we've always been like... Whenever we're around each other. <laughs> uh, live to hurt your sibling? No, 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 no. We don't like... Act we don't hurt each other, but we're just like... Grossed out by each other As siblings are, you know, you know how it is Yeah <laughs> I am the older one, I am the older one I am the older sibling uh, Though my sister is, uh, how do you say this? She's, uh, she's very tall So everyone thinks she's like the, uh Everyone thinks she's the older one, but it's not true, I am the older one I may not look like it, but I am the older one. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we go out, they're like, oh, that's your older sister? <laughs> so my sister? They're like, that's your older sister? I'm like, yeah, I'm older, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Every single time. Yeah, 
because she's so freaking tall. Does she get upset? Uh, no. No, we just laugh about it. But I get upset a little bit. I don't want to be super teeny tiny forever. But here I am. Here I am. That's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll live with it. It's not like I can do anything about it. Right? Anyhow. <laughs> I don't think she would... Gl I think she would gloat about being... Oh, she's not really much of a gloater. Uh, how do you say this? She has a very aloof personality. She's very aloof. Um, compared to me. I'm very, like... I'm very animated. I cry a lot. But my sister is very aloof. She's mysterious. People are scared of her because she has, like... You can't really tell what she's thinking. <laughs> my younger sister. Yeah. Yeah, nothing gets to her, really. Really. She's never been bullied in school because she's so tall and she has that, like, personality nobody can really get close to. Because it's hard to read her, right? Uh, unfortunately, I was bullied violently. <laughs> no surprise to anyone there, right? Um... Yeah, that's her, the contrast. She's a very cool girl. Yeah, she's a very cool girl. Yeah, the contrast is quite... It's quite jarring. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, I w I'm very small. <laughs> uh, that's just my entire existence, really. Mm. Can't do anything about it. It's just the way it is. You know? Can't really do much about that. I didn't choose this life. The small life chose me, you know? It be like that sometimes. <laughs> Gotta work with what we have! Very puntable. Are you gonna punt me? Are you serious? I come on stream just for you to tell me that you will punt me. Oh my god. That's not very nice. That's not very nice, chat. Thank you for the $2 shoe by Ember! Who bullied you? you. We're gonna take you, them out. Thank you! For various <laughs> reasons, you know? Various. Thank you again for the super chat, Ember! Mwah. Um. For various reasons. First of all, I was a raging weeb all my life, you know? Still am. Become an anime girl. Uh, became an anime girl at the very end, so. Uh, yeah, there's that. Um. My job is now being an anime girl. Uh. So. <laughs> I've turned the very thing that I was bullied for into my job. Are you guys proud of me? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's something to be proud of. <laughs> Literally the biggest weeb in existence. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a dream come true. I guess for me it is. I mean, it was always kind of like a goal of mine to work in the anime industry. Really, because... I love anime so much, right? Especially growing up, I thought it was like the coolest thing. So... I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool now that I'm pretty much considered to be in a, a part of the industry. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you, I, think it's, I think it's pretty damn cool. I don't know about you guys. Anime life chose me, exactly. Yeah. It's a dream for me to have met you. That's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am... It's a dream for me to meet you guys too. So, I think it goes... It goes two ways. Yeah. <laughs> it goes two ways, guys. It's, it's a blessing to have met you. Honestly. I don't... I couldn't really think of a better... Uh... Community, really. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be an anime girl, too. <laughs> don't let your dreams be dream, friend. You can, too, become an anime girl. Hmm. Except be forewarned. If you become an anime girl, you won't have time for other anime girls. Because you'll be too worried about your own content to worry about other anime girls. And that's the most unfortunate thing about my job is I don't have as much time 
as I used to <laughs> to like um watch other streamers and participate in their communities, which is really that's like the only downside to this all, I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's just a little forewarning from me to you. Mm, if you want to become an anime girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, became an anime girl, but at what cost, for real? Uh, there isn't a voice changer in the market that could make me sound like an anime girl. So that door's gonna have to remain closed. I don't know, there's a... Uh, there, like, the technology these days are getting... Intense. They're getting, like... Way too freaking good. <laughs> it's getting way too freaking good. I don't know about you guys, but it's getting freaky out there. Hmm. Um, there soon will be enough. There's chat AI that sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've heard some... A po I saw a post on Twitter where they're like replicating a streamer's voices to say like really bad things. Yeah, the technology is there. The technology is there. You know? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's only a matter of years, I would say. Um, the voice synthesizer thing is pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Yeah, it's really scary. So, uh, just a warning, guys. If you guys ever see a clip of your favorite girl and your Oshi saying something nasty, question its v validity. Question its validity for a little bit. Because, uh, technology is getting pretty... pretty intense on that front. It's getting too good. You can't, literally can't tell the difference. So, yeah. Just be a little, a little more vigilant. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thank you so much for the five dollars. Super, super iron bomb. Mwah. Nay, I say I'm gonna be a ludite. What's a ludite? What's a, what's that? Explain. Mm. Um. <laughs> she decided she hates obelisk. I, I would never say mask? that. I would never say I hate Obelisk Tormentor. You guys know this. You guys know this. <laughs> I can't! It's my brand now. The Obelisk Tormentor fucker VTuber. That's me. Just cause I own one Dojin. Just cause I own one Dojin, it's over now. <laughs> it's like Amish people. Oh, someone who hates technology. Oh, I see. I don't know. I can't hate technology. I'm kind of a tech tech fan myself. I'm just a little bit of a how do you say? I like thinking about the future and like how the uh, the world's gonna be shaped by technology. I think it's a really interesting topic. And like that's why you like sci-fi, or I like sci-fi. I can't I can't say you like sci-fi. So I'm not sure if you guys do, but I like sci-fi for this reason. I like wondering about the possibilities. Ah, mm. uh, thank you for subbing. Thank you for all the new subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mwah. I like tech, but I also like awful jokes. I, I have a really fucked up sense of humor as well. Um, that, you know, I have to hold back on stream a lot of the times. Um, but... Don't worry. That's a normal- that's a normal people thing to have a little bit of a fucked up sense of humor. <laughs> I just think there's a time and place for everything, you know? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let it out- no! No! Nah. There's like, terrible jokes. Um, that me and my sister, like, talk about. But we will never, like, say it in public. It's just... <laughs> you know, there's some jokes that are meant for, like, uh, private conversations and really close friends. Because otherwise, taken out of context, it's really yappe. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah. That's pretty normal. It's very normal. It's very normal. It's very normal for... For you to have like a public space filter. <laughs> I am no exception to that. I do too 
have a public space filter. Mm. Um. <clears throat> ba dum bum. Ba dum. Bum bum ba da dum. <laughs> Understandable, right? I think I think it's the smart thing to do. I think it's the smart thing to do. The world changes so much, you know. There's always change going on, and sometimes I get really like nervous about how fast the world is changing. Cause I'm kind of a slow-paced kind of gal. I don't like to rush things, or I'm slow to catch on, you know. So. Kinda nice that sometimes if things could move a little a little slower, that would make my day. <laughs> yeah. It feels like we're speeding up, right? It's like we're going into a time warp for real. We're checking the flip the flippy flip just in case. Our line art looks off anywhere. Why do I not like how the eye is formed here? Hold on, edit transform. Bam, bam, nope. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Lasso, there we go. I'm gonna put you guys, I'm gonna put the mic here. I don't think I can keep it on the side today, so. Um, it's perspective. I know, I know, but. Edit transform. Mesh. When in doubt, just mesh it. <laughs> when in doubt, just mesh it. Until you like it. I do this quite often. It is a cheat. But you know what? If it makes my life easier, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, this is a little... A little cheat, you know. It's weird to see how we need to fix discomfort with our own art that other people don't really pick up on. I know, I know, but that's like that's like being an artist, right? That's just like a part of it. So I don't mind. Mm. Digital art, very practical. Yes, very, very practical. And it's an industry standard, so... Don't feel too bad about using the tools that are available to you. Some people are very weird about that sort of thing. They're like, oh, you're not doing real art unless you're doing this. And I'm just like, literally no one cares. <laughs> literally no one cares. Um, select, deselect. I had an art teacher like that. I was like, oh, digital art isn't real art. Like, what are you training people for? You know, like, aren't, aren't teachers supposed to teach you things for the future? To help you get a job in the future? Um, and if you are training for that, you have to be, you have to know how to do digital art. <laughs> yeah. AI art is, it's kind of sus, but it's also, I think, I find it to be kind of a tool. I'm not even going to get into the ethics of it, because I think that can get pretty messy and... But I think it can be a great tool for artists to, like, generate poses and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh! That'd be a fight. Yeah, I don't want to fight. I don't. I don't want my cookies to fight each other. Cause people have very strong opinions about it. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Time to fight. Are we gonna fight? <laughs> Are we gonna fight? It's okay to have strong opinions about things. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I have mixed feelings about it that I won't get into, but. <laughs> mm. 
Damn, my hand is so shaky today. I don't know why. Shaky hand. There we go. Oh, don't like that line. The face needs to be just right, so I don't want to like have a shaky line there. Please, please let this not be a potato hand day. I beg, I beg. It. I don't want, I don't want to have potato hand. Yeah, that. Take my time with it. That's, that's... You know, it's hard to line art because a lot of the times... You have to like draw the stroke fast for the smoothness of the line. But also be accurate. And that's like the hardest part. That's like a really hard thing to manage. For someone who's new to line art. Um, drawing fast and accurate strokes... That look uniform is probably the hardest part. Mm -mm. You struggle with that? I think most people do, especially if you're just learning. Mm. Yeah. And it's okay to take your time. Um, I, oh, how I learned how to line art, um, actually, it was just watching other artists with really good line art, uh, do their work, as well as, I used to ink comic book style, like, American comic book style. I don't know if you guys know, like, uh, like, Superman, I used to draw Superman a lot, and, like, um, other superheroes, Wonder Woman. DC superheroes. I drew a lot of Batman. <laughs> I drew a lot of Wonder Woman to like ink her hair, like American comic style. Um, and then, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's your favorite superhero? Ah, that is Mizukashi. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. Let's see. Do I have a favorite? Oh, nah. Hmm. Well, Batman was definitely like my favorite, absolute favorite when I was younger. I also liked The Flash a lot. In terms of DC superheroes, I think those are my like two favorite characters. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, in terms, in terms of, in terms of DC. Yeah, I didn't like Red Hood. All, all the edgy girls all like the Red Hood because. I don't know. They find his concept kind of bad boy and sexy. Maybe I'm just not like that. I may I may have daddy issues, but I'm not that far gone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you draw Prego Batman? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> why would you, why would you ask that? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though, Antonio. Um, well, well, agreed, Wally West is best flash. Agreed as well. Um, I had an art teacher. I had an art teacher back in the day. Um, he used to be really, really into DC. Um, so... And I was really good at inking, so for a lot of these like extra projects that we would do in his class, um, I would just draw superheroes on like scrap pieces of cardboard, and then he would keep them because it was like getting fan art, right? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I would get like extra credit for them because I would draw them really fast. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I was, pre I was pretty good at it. I don't know how to draw American style anymore. But I definitely think I was more of a... American style artist. For the younger... In my younger seamstress days. Because of that period of time in my life. Mm. Thank you for the $2 super! Brandon Burgos! Mwah! Super chat for a fellow, fellow Wally enjoyer. He had such a cute personality. How could you not like Wally? 
He has adorable personality. I love it when he ate snacks because his uh his metabolism's really fast. If you guys don't thank know about you, the thank flash. You, thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you. Yeah, so so his metabolism is very, very fast because he's the flash, right? Um he moves very fast. And because he moves very fast, he burns a lot of calories. So he's always eating stuff in the watchtower. Like it's it's so cute. It's so cute. Mm. You're an adorable person. Thank you. Thank you for saying that about me. Flash X Batman Dojin. I didn't I didn't I wasn't really into that pairing. <laughs> I think in terms of weird Fujoshi pairings about DC superheroes, Batman was also paired with all, always paired with Superman Because they were like mom and dad, right? And then Wally was always paired with the Green Lantern Yeah, it was always with the... With the, <laughs> with the Green Lantern Um, thank you so much for super chatting! Do me! Thank you for the five dollar super! Yeah, with Green Lantern They were always paired together How? Why do you know this? I, I I was a teenager once, guys. <laughs> I was a cringe teenager, a little cringy teenager. Yeah. I participated in the fandom. Never drew them in weird scenarios though. Only only a red fan fiction. That I can say. Yeah. Only read fan fiction. <laughs> Your thing was Batman. No, my thing was Batman x Superman. I told you guys that. Did I? I'm not even sure if I told you guys that. <laughs> I'm actually not completely sure. Hmm. Did I? I think I did. At some point. At some point. Yeah, I, I I think I did. Yeah, I kind of did. I implied it. I think I implied it several times. Mm. Uh, yeah, I did. Right? I'm not. I'm not like being crazy. I didn't imagine it. Yeah, I talked about the art. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of cringe? The usual, like, gross nerd kind! Where you ship, like, every man together for, like, whatever unholy reason. Because you are just a disgusting Fujoshi. It be like that sometimes. <laughs> hey, hey, at least I know I have a problem, okay? That's the first step. That's the first step, is admitting you have issues. I never claimed I wasn't a sinner. <laughs> I am cringe but free. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for uh, exonerating me of my sins, chat. <laughs> Thanks for accepting me for the way I am. It means a lot. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Um, accepted. Ah, ah, that's very sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet of you. Okay, now we're just drawing in the hair. I did put it on another layer because I was afraid I was gonna mess up. So, uh, another tip for you today: if you are scared of line arting some parts of your art. Just put different, you, like, line art on different layers. And see if that gives you a little more confidence. It usually does for me. Because then I can just get rid of the layer if I don't like it. And uh, as you go, try to be as clean as possible. It's okay, it's okay if it takes you a long time at first. But it's, it's worth... Being as clean as possible on your first pass. 
then deal with all your freaking mistakes later and your regrets. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Should I shower while I draw? No, don't shower while you draw. Don't take your electronics into the bathroom. That's how you die. That's how you unhime yourself. And then I won't ever see you guys again, which is not... Not ideal! It's not ideal. Uh, could be isekai though. No, 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 no. I don't even like isekais. <laughs> I don't even like isekais, chat. You guys know this. It's not even my thing. Isekai is more of like Remy territory. Uh, Chuni territory. I don't know. I didn't really like Mushoku Tensei. I didn't like it. I didn't like the main character. Hmm. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I watched like five episodes, and then I just couldn't really get into it. I was like, ah, nah. Hmm. Uh, novels are super good. Ending made me cry. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't had time to read any of that yet. Mm. The thing is, like, I I know that like, with every isekai I talk about, I'm like, oh, I didn't really like that one. Um, there's always somebody in chat that's like, oh, the main character gets better later on. And I'm just like, okay, but I don't have time for wait for this guy to get better later on. <laughs> Maybe it's probably just not the, uh... How do you say this? It's not the genre for me. Because of that. Like, I, I'm all for character development, but... Yeah, some, some genres just aren't really... Aren't really my cuppa. Which is fine. Not every genre has to be my cuppa. Mm. Yeah. Uh, just wait for the plot. <laughs> uh, I watch Isekai as a guilty pleasure knowing it's trash. Honestly, that's fair. Like, the, the, the woman version of that, um, the Isekais made for women are usually about, like, girls who get, like, killed by, like, whatever unfortunate circumstance, overwork or something, and then they get, like, reincarnated as a beautiful princess in another world, and then they meet, like, a handsome prince who's kind of an asshole. But like really handsome. <laughs> it's always like that, like the Korean ones. Yeah, those are like the ones for women. And those are kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Sometimes I still find myself to be a girly girl through and through. Even even as an older girl these days, yeah, I still Love a good, cheesy, terrible romance story with a handsome asshole prince Who has no redeeming qualities So, <laughs> I can't really judge you guys I'm not judging you guys for your taste Don't worry mm. Yeah Um The villainous isekais Okay, the only villainous isekai I've ever read No, the only one that I liked that I read was Roxanne But and that's that art was like 90% of the reason why I why I read it. <laughs> I'll be honest, it was it was mostly the art. It is gorgeous. But sadly, I think something terrible happened to the author and the artist. I think they were being like exploited by the the webtoon company in some way and she's like on hiatus now, so I don't know when that's gonna continue. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But it was beautiful and she was such a badass. You know? It's really rare to see a girl character who's like super badass, beautiful, like girl crush character. Oh my gosh. 
She's beautiful. I'll show you guys. Hold on. I'll show you guys a picture. Um. Let's see. Roxana. Uh, Roxana. Rock Roxana webtoon. There it is. Uh, images. The art is just absolutely incredible. Save image as. Oh, look at that. She is, she is, she's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. She's like, she's like a villainous, but she's like so cool. Like, wow. Ugh. Like her personality is so sexy. There's no way you cannot like her. She has like the killer eyes. <laughs> she is very cool. I love her a lot. Mm. A little ruthless, but for the greater good. I love a story like that. And the and the princes are very handsome, which is which is a plus for for women. <laughs> yeah, the princes are very handsome. I hope the author's doing fine. Yeah, I hope I hope the author is doing fine too. I can't wait to see more of her work, so hopefully she'll recover soon. There's like a rumor. There's like a rumor she had like a miscarriage because of the stress. Um of of uh making the deadlines, so I hope she's okay. Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, that's what I've heard. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's really what's happening. So don't take my word for that. But uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, life of an artist seems very hard, dude. Being an artist, I don't know. It's it's such um. I know a lot of people don't realize this, but like drawing is kind of physically taxing because we're all, all the artists are like bent over most of like our time is spent in front of the computer, just kind of almost bent over. I have ergonomic tools. Like prior to joining Face Connect, um, I had, I, I didn't have the, Stand the arm that I do now, the ergonomic sort of arm stand um, that's attached to my desk. It costs like three hundred dollars, so I didn't have the money for it. Um, and I had like terrible wrist and back problems because of the hours I spent doing art. Uh, but Sakuna gladly uh, kind of expensed the. The stand for me, so I uh, now I don't have any of those issues, but it's so easy to have like physical issues because uh, you're you're an artist. Like it's painfully easy. Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> no. I mean, it was a business expense. I did a lot more art uh, at first. If you have the Face Connect, well, if you ordered the Face Connect art book, I know they had to do a reprint and stuff. So, um, that's still I have I have the misprinted copy with me. My art is in it, actually. So, I've actually been with Phase for on behind the scenes for a little while, like a long while before I debuted. So, hmm. Some of my art will be included in the <laughs> in the art book as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the basement era, exactly. Yeah, some of you know about that, right? I know a lot of you are new. <laughs> I know a lot of you are new to Face Connect, so you wouldn't know anything about that. Um, 
But yeah, we had like a really long pre-debut period, so... <laughs> we called it the basement era, where I was trapped in the basement doing art. <laughs> yeah. Will it be resold eventually? I am... Sorry. Oh, oof. I burped. Um, I'm actually not really sure. You're gonna have to ask uh, Sakuna for that. I have no clue. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know more about it, but um, yeah, that's not that's not like info that I'm I'm sure of, so I don't want to mislead you. Uh, Bert, yeah, I have like some. I I had some like curry for lunch, my leftovers. So I'm kind of like, bleh, kind of full, tummy happy, full. I um took a walk earlier. I didn't do my usual workout before stream today. I just took a walk around my neighborhood for like half an hour. And then after, after stream later, I'm going to actually do another 20 minute workout, but my legs are really tired, so I'm gonna take it a little easier today. Mm. Mm -mm. Our book is still orderable. Shipping time is still sometimes before the heat death of the universe. <laughs> this is true. I took a walk around the world to ease my troubled mind. Exactly! Dude, it clears my mind. Sometimes having anxiety... I have anxiety too. I'm messed up. But I have anxiety, right? So sometimes... I take a walk because it helps me clear my mind before stream. If I'm really anxious... It helps. It helps the performance. I don't want to like... Seem a little... Off on stream, I don't want to put out the uh, impression that I'm like suffering, you know, <laughs> which I'm not. I just have anxiety, so please understand. I'm just a very anxious creature. Mm. Yeah. Don't push yourself though. I'll try not to. I'll try not to. Anxiety is suffering. It really is. It really is. It's hard some days. But, um, I think I'm doing pretty good. So, you guys don't have to worry about it. You guys don't have to worry about it at all. Hmm. Um, a comfort pet would be nice. Uh, the thing is, having a pet means you have to take care of it. And listen... I already have a stupid animal that I gotta keep alive. And it's me and Beanut. <laughs> I have a pet crab named Beanut. Um... I already... Beanut's already kind of a handful for me, not gonna lie. So... I don't think I plan to get another pet soon. Eventually, I want a dog. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, not not for a little while. Not for a little while. Yeah, my sister... Well, my sister probably keeps herself alive better than I do. <laughs> she has like a... A really respectable... Not 9 to 5, but like a regular job, so... Hmm. Yeah. My routine right now is just starting to improve. But it wasn't always like this, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, my sister's routine is better. Whoa! Thank you so much for... Whoa, is that late? What is happening? Who... Who, who gave... Who gave those gift members? <gasps> it didn't say! It didn't say at all! Daddy! Thank you for the stupid Bye, Antonio! Older adopted cats are lap creatures. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, cats seem like a cool idea too. Mm -mm. The super chat? No, 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 no. I think my thing is just the uh, late. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. 
YouTube is broken. Maybe it's uh like renewals. Maybe it's renewals. I have no clue how this works, man. This is pro streamer, Amana Gawashina, checking in. <laughs> Definitely pro streamer Amana Gawashina knowing exactly what's going on on her stream at all times, like she should. Mm. Two months! Thank you for becoming a member for two months, Sunny! Pro streamer hours for real, for real. <laughs> I don't like how this is turning out on the side right here. Hmm. Hair, such a struggle. Ugh. Hair is such a freaking struggle, guys. I didn't wanna like make this so complicated, but I think it's a little late for that. I think I've already made it complicated. that sometimes, you know? And now we're gonna do another layer because I'm getting nervous. So yeah, sometimes when you're not confident, just go ahead and like... place more layers and hope for the best. <laughs> place more layers and hope for the best. Yampasu! Yampasu! Mm, thank you for the shoot bag again. Mwah. Ball Chino be a daring option. Ah! I don't know if I like myself bald. I don't know if I have the head shape for that. How do you know? Like, how do you know if you have a good head shape for being bald? <laughs> like, like, how, how do you consider what's a good head shape for being bald? Like, what does that even freaking mean? Uh, just shaved it. No thoughts given. I just shaved it. Congratulations on embracing your bald. Losing hair is stressful. Losing hair is stressful. I was go legit going bald for a bit there. I, I, went, I went to see a doctor because it was like, oh my god, I'm going bald, doctor. What's going on? And the doctor's like, you're just stressed. I'm like, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, I see. They're like, you're just stressed out. I'm like, oh, great. Amazing. How do I fix it? And they're like, just stop being stressed. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Aye aye, whatever you say. Um, just chill, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just stress is kind of the culprit for a lot of my problems in my life. Um, <laughs> but it's so hard to solve. Like if it was easy, right? If it was just easy. But no, it's not easy. It's it's actually very difficult to pinpoint your problems when you're stressed. Especially when you're anxious. You don't know you don't know what's like You're so stressed all the time that that's like your normal life. Right? And then you're like, okay, so what does not stress feel like? <laughs> that's my problem. Hmm. Oh hello, Pina! Pina, hello! Welcome! Welcome, Penguin Raiders! How are you guys? What'd you guys do today? Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you for sharing your community with me, Pina! Oh, oh, let me, let me give you the, uh, the, the, the wrench. Wrench. Pina gets the wrench. Ah, 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 ah. Add as a standard moderator. There we go. She's wrenched now. Nice. <laughs> Zatsuda, nice. Ko 
comfy, Zatsu! You got the power! Okay, I have an embarrassing story. I can't remember if it was Pina. I don't think it was Pina, but it was another Prison Project member. Um, I, I rated a, I tried to rate another Prison Project member when when YouTube was like just starting to get like rates, right? And then um another Prison Project agent. And what happened was it glitched, right? My my whole YouTube glitched, so not only did I not raid the member I was trying to raid, um YouTube glitched so that it was my stream on the screen and then the per the other agent's chat, right? So I was like, okay, manual read. And I kept typing into their chat with their link. It was so embarrassing, dude. It was... <laughs> uh, I think YouTube fixed it so it doesn't happen anymore. But oh my god, I was, I was so anxious. I was like, oh my god. I just BM'd somebody so bad. In my first weeks, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it happens, right? Oh my gosh, I just BM'd... Uh, oh my god. But yeah, if you guys don't know, Prison Project is very, very sweet. Um, All the girls, all the talents in Prison Project. Very, very sweet, very talented. I th a lot of you are musically inclined, too. It's, it's very impressive. Yeah. Pina's really cute. Pina's like a penguin? Penguin? Marching band penguin? Very cute. <laughs> Ah. You you comes from Idol, not from Prison Project, guys. <laughs> wrong company, wrong company chat. Wrong company. Hmm. Ah, no problem. I watch uh in pre debut I watch a lot of prison members. For sure. Now now it's like I don't have as much time, but I still admire you girls from afar. Everyone's so professional, too. Mm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Mawaru Penguin Drum. Oh my god, I love that anime. I didn't really understand it, though. I feel like my friends really, really liked it when Mawaru Penguin Drum first came out. They're like, oh my god! It's so deep. I cried so much. And maybe I was too stone cold, but I was just like... Like, I didn't get it. <laughs> I, like, didn't understand. Uh, maybe I'm just too stone cold. I don't know. I think... I think the theme was, like, the brothers and everybody were giving up their happiness. To make, like, the little sister happy. Or something like that. And then it was like not working out, and that's like the sad thing because she's like they're trying to like change fate, but it's not really something that they could change. They just don't have enough strength. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very I. <laughs> There's a lot of symbolism. I like that. I like that. But I had to like look up the symbolism. You know, I I couldn't really understand it myself. Maybe because I'm just too unga bunga. That happens. <laughs> Hope you have a wonderful rest of your art stream. Thank you, Pina. Thank you so much again for the raid. Mwah. Yeah, they accomplished it through self-sacrifice. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, that's that I got. They're like sacrificing a lot about themselves to make the little sister happy to keep her alive. Yeah. That I I understood. All right, there we are. Sorry, I, I get really concentrated sometimes. So if I stop talking, I'm I'm so sorry. Bangs look very natural. Thank you. I love um thinking about hair flow. Hair flow is like one of those things. I love thinking about the hair in like uh. Pieces. Like layers and pieces that stack on top of each other and whatnot. I 
and then I always clean it up later. There we go. Thank you! Uh, for the super chat, Zume! Thank you so much! Have any tips for eye placement? I flip my drawings and the eyes are lopsided. Um, I can give some general tips, yeah, hold on. Let me finish this part, and then I can teach you guys eye placement. So obviously that happens sometimes to me as well. Um, still, obviously, when we were line arting earlier, we were still experiencing such pains, right? So it's not something that just happens to beginners. You just kind of get better at it, but there are some tips I can show you. So let's see, new. Uh, let me do... Let's do postcard size, okay? So, uh, let's... I draw great hair. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let me not hurt your eyes. <laughs> I'll, I'll fill in a gray for you guys. So. Uh, basically when you're drawing a face, you have to think of the head shape, right? Um, so, uh, before you think about the eyes and the features, you kind of have to master the head and like what the face actually is. So we're going to break it down today, okay? So a basic shape of a face or a head is going to be a circle. So I'm going to draw three of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this to maybe three different circles. So I just I can show you like a couple different angles here. A couple different angles here. All right, so let's do that. All right, so there's three circles, right? So let's draw a face that's head on. Let's draw a face that's head on. So for head on face, we're gonna use some red, and I'm gonna show you guys where to put the face, right? I'm sure you guys have seen this. So this is where gonna be where the face is, all right? But where is the face on the head, right? Typically, the face is gonna be this area in front, right? It's like a flat plane. And then the rest of the head thank you, thank you, thank in the back you. is the sphere what, what, in the back, yeah. right? So if you think about that, then that means this is also round from here, like the crown will be here. It's round like here too, right? And then when it turns to the three quarters, right? And this is what I think a lot of beginners don't understand about faces. Is if you turn a head to the side. Right? It's turning a little bit to the side now. You guys see that? So now that shape of where that face is. This is flat, right? But the rest of the head that you guys see here, you guys have to remember that it's still round. So actually, and this is the crown world, it's like this, right? So think of the front of the face as like a flat plane on top of like a sphere, right? So now we've learned the face, the shape of the face. Very important to understand, right? So I'm, sh I'm thinking you have a problem about the three quarters angle, right? Once you understand this, 
then you can uh, you can go ahead and like think about placement, right? So starting with the first one, you can break down a face like this. You can do the eyes, and this is gonna be very ugly. You can place the eyes here. And with the eyes, typically, the distance between the eyes will be about one eye apart. So in between here, one eye apart. And from there, you can draw whatever you need to draw. Right? The two irises, blah, 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 blah. Very basic stuff, right? Right, so you got you got one eye apart there. Right, from the nose... It depends on how old your character is. But it'll be somewhere here. So if you're drawing the whole nose, which you never really do in anime... Your nose will be here. So people are wondering in anime, why is the anime nose just like a dot? Because it only expresses the tip. What it doesn't express, and this is stylistic, some artists will only draw the shadow here to express there's like a shape in the nose here. But typically there will only be like a dot to, to only express where that tip of the nose is, right? And then, of course, you would do this. Eyebrows! Those are... However you would like to place them. They have a lot to tell you about the character, so... For a more confident character, of course, you want it to be like... You know, kind of like what I have! Um, but for a softer character, you can... Put a softer expression and... So on and so forth, but that's up to you. We're just gonna do a neutral expression. Right? Or like just... There it is, right? And then the mouth would be somewhere here. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then for... So how does this trans... How, how does this move over to the three quarters view? So now we're gonna imagine this being a flat plane, like the blue area, right? We're gonna do the same thing, so we're gonna draw one eye. Right? And there's four shortening here. There's gonna be nose here. You can still assume there's like one eye apart here. It's just gonna be shorter. No. You guys understand it a little more? <laughs> yeah? So you can study faces like this if you break down... If you understand like the... Basic shape of what you need to know... Heads get a little better and easier to draw. Yeah. It's looking a little cross. I don't worry. It's just it's just an example. I'm not really drawing like seriously, but you know. Mm -mm -mm. Some of you are so judgmental, man. <laughs> I'm teaching a lesson. I'm not drawing perfect. I told you guys I'm not gonna draw it perfectly, and yet there's criticism. <laughs> and yet there's criticism. Do you guys want to be taught or not? Anyways. Yeah, that's the that's the idea. Let's see. Again, I'm not I'm not really like a perfect artist. Definitely not. I'm still learning myself, so not everything I draw turns out good, especially when I'm drawing in a rush. 
<laughs> I I'm still I'm still learning, you know. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. And that's another thing you guys gotta look past. If you guys are gonna be absolute perfectionists on a, every little thing you draw out and sketch, you're not really gonna make it anywhere. You know, like it's just gonna be really hard. So when you're learning how to draw. If you're doing a bottom sketch, it's okay if it's wonky. You can always fix it later. It's more important that you get the idea and the correct shape onto the paper. You can always change it later. Mm. Yeah, the sketch you guys saw um, underneath here this is after three passes. <laughs> That's after three passes. I deleted the other layers because I was really nervous, but literally it started out like... Like me trying to place the body, like, oh, wh where does it go? Oh, there's, there's my ass. Yeah, and then and I'll put my arms here. And then like... Yeah, it starts like really ugly. <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> Yeah. So don't worry about it being like really ugly at first. You'll figure it out. There's a lot of like problem solving when in your brain when it comes to like doing drawings. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll do another pass to put in a little more details and a little more details, so I do about three to four passes every single time. Sometimes when I'm like not potato, it's less, but a lot of the times it's just gonna take a lot more effort because. And a lot more reference too <laughs> than other things, you know? Depending on the pose, this pose is a little hard for me um, to draw, but I wanted to like challenge myself, so. Mm. There it is. Miku, not Miku, I'm drawing me! <laughs> chat! I swear, I swear, half of chat sees anime girl. And chat's like, it's Hachunya Miku! <laughs> what do you think of painterly styles, Shina? Um. I was never able to do painterly style myself, but if you if you can do that, that's really cool. All art looks good if it's done well, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm, all art looks good if it's done well. It's like, yeah, painterly style is painterly style, but from one painterly artist to another... There's always like such in interesting like variation in peop in what like people can do. Though I'm not sure what you guys are expecting when you guys ask me. Do you like this art style? And this art style? Uh like what am I going to say no? <laughs> I'm gonna, am I gonna say no? That's that's a little. <laughs> that's that's a little lot. That's a little to say you don't like an art style is a lot to say, right? <laughs> Looks clean. Thank you. We're just doing line art, so. Mm. Yeah, painterly is really cool. I had a friend who could, like, only did painterly, and her art was really, really cool. I could never do what she does, though. I was never, like, my brain just doesn't really, isn't wired that way, so... It's a little difficult. I wish I could, though. I've seen, like, some crazy game concept artists do, like, painterly styles. Um, unfortunately, I was never able to ever figure it out. And I like line work a little too much, so I never really got into it myself. 
because I enjoy I, I enjoy line work too much, but my friend hated line work, so she excelled in painterly because she just didn't want to do line art. So <laughs> everyone has their reasons. Yeah. Um. Ah! My keyboard just fell. Hold on. Yeah, bit. My keyboard. Okay. It fell off the table. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I. Oop. Some people choose the path. I mean, everybody has preferences, right? That's the beautiful thing about art. Since everybody has such like different preferences, it makes things interesting, so... If everybody all like the same thing, then... It's kind of boring. <laughs> it's kind of boring that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Diversity is best. Exactly! If everybody had the same art style, things would be so boring to look at. <laughs> There'd be no spice. Absolutely no spice. Everybody would just be drawing the same things every day. Um, thank you so much for the super chat, Emmanuel Castellanos. Any plans to draw your colleagues? Uh, not a complaint. Sheena for days is great, but versions done in your style would be gorgeous. Thank you so much for your super! Um, yeah, I would love to draw them. Um, but I'm working on my own personal projects right now. For my streams. Like, this is for a stream. So, I draw a lot of myself because I need to. But I would love to draw my gen mates. I drew Irie, I think, one of, for one of my first art streams. Um, I drew them a lot. I drew my senpais a lot too in um, pre debut for a lot of projects. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I'm working on my own projects right now, so. Mm mm mm. Yeah. I drew Tenma. I did, I did draw Tenma, I did. I did draw Tenma too, I forgot about that. Yeah. Did you guys hear? Tenma Senpai? Uh, I think she almost got a concussion because a big pile of snow fell on her head. So she has a bump on her head right now. I'm very worried for her. She seems alright though, so... <laughs> she drew a cute little picture of herself with like a little unicorn bump on her head. It's really cute. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no is for real. Oh no is for real. Yeah, so make sure make sure you guys are nice to her, okay? She she has an ouchie. Very cute. Hmm. I love seeing you draw, it's so relaxing. Thank you. The meme she'd been Thank you so much! <laughs> The meme she's been posting tells me she's in good humor. She's always in good humor. I love that about her. Hmm. She's a very hard worker. I think that's something I really admire about uh, Tenma Senpai is... Um, she's really strong work ethic. I think out of all of Face Connect in terms of... Workahol workaholicism... She's like very similar to me, so, um, like, things don't feel right until she's, like, unless she's working on something, so, yeah, I feel that, <laughs> I have, a, I feel like a kindred spirit in that, so, hmm. But her, I think even more so than me, because I actually need more sleep, but she, I don't know, I don't know how Tenma Senpai does it. For real, for real. Mm. Why are VTubers such workaholics? There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. If we want to... Uh, 
stream well for you guys. We have to put in a lot of like extra work. It's not just like getting on and streaming. There's like a lot of planning and stuff that goes into it. I'm um, like, for example, uh, for this stream, I needed to sketch. I needed to sketch before I uh, was able to come on stream, right? So. Uh, last night I spent a couple hours like planning out the drawing and like getting it on paper and um <laughs> hyping myself up, making sure I'm not going to like mess up the drawing on stream. Cause that's always that's always a possibility. I think um that's the scariest part about art streams for me. <laughs> Is like, oh god, you guys are gonna see every little mistake that I do live and my terrifying process of redrawing something over and over again until I'm happy. What if somebody makes a comment and it goes off the rails? Like, there's like a lot of worries that go into an art stream. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, let's see. Yum! Workaholic! Workahol! It's not very yummy. It, it, it's not very yummy, no. Uh... Mistakes are part of the process, we understand. Thank you! Thank you! Mm -mm -mm. I'm not gonna lie, I imagine a lot of people kill to make line art like yours. Uh, even I'm like very practiced, but you'd be surprised. You, you'd be surprised at some, some things people can say. Yeah. Like, out of pocket. <laughs> out of pocket. I'm generally, like, in a good mood these days, though, so... Funky comments don't really get to me these days. But yeah, it's still a little nerve-wracking, because I'm still a learning artist, too, right? Um... I'm still a learning artist, so there's like things I do that are not like perfect. A lot of things I'm still learning. Um, have you ever made art of yourself drinking a bottle of ketchup? I didn't, but somebody else did. That art of me does exist somewhere. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much for two dollar super FBI. Thank you. You don't get a kiss because you're you're the you're the freaking feds. I do not kiss the feds. <laughs> I know. I'm not gonna kiss the feds. Hello. Hello. So welcome. You're you're welcome to watch my stream. You're welcome to watch. <clears throat> Proper response. Pippa likes that. Exactly. I'm a, I'm on Pippa's side. I don't care if that gets me on some sort of a list. just rude how dare i i didn't i didn't realize i didn't realize the federal bureau of investigations had feelings i didn't realize that you guys uh had feelings <laughs> uh, thank you thank you so much for remembering for one month you got any Advice for sketching at a sketchbook I filled up about 10 months a couple years ago. I still haven't filled up half my new one yet. Uh, I have personally never filled out a sketchbook in my life. <laughs> it's too much pressure. So instead, I just keep files of doodles. Uh, digitally. 
because I'm... Every time I, I get a sketchbook, I'm like overwhelmed by the existence of it and... I need to make everything perfect and then... I psych myself out and then I never touch it again. You can nag me about taxes when it's like April. Um, I thought you guys weren't in charge of taxes. You, you're not the IRS. You're not. You're not the Revenue Service. You're not the Revenue Service. Get out of here with your tax talk. Nobody cares. Okay, let's see. Um. <laughs> to the deadline. Maybe I'll panic then. Um. <laughs> For now, I'm not gonna panic. I'm gonna procrastinate. Like half of you in chat are going to. I'm gonna procrastinate on my taxes. Skeet. You didn't come here for taxes. Thank you for your two dollars you buy again. I don't know what you're here for. I'm not giving you any information about Pippa. That that's that's just a hundred percent. I'm not I'm not going to rat out Pippa. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh, let's see. Um. Uh, why don't they get have most of our taxes? Why only two dollars? <laughs> Called out, dude. Thank you for becoming a member for five months, Jared. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. Um. No talking to police. <laughs> My mom told me not to talk to the police. So I'm not gonna talk to the police. <laughs> Oh shit, where did, where did my freaking layers go? No, that's not it. There. Oh my gosh. Horrible. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna rat out Pippa. That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years! It's like, in my adult VTuber mind... Pippa Senpai is more of a force to be reckoned with than the freaking government. Thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> we pick our allegiances wisely! No, I'm not scared of Pippa. I'm not scared of Pippa Senpai. I just think she's more powerful. I just think she's more strong. <laughs> more of a force to be reckoned with. Now we're just playing with line weight. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I am making some lines thicker for better effect. For a more dynamic feel on the strands. So make sure... It feels like there's movement. Uh, 
Uh, looking good. Thank you. Thank you. I like to take my time with this step, you know? There's like so much to consider when you're when you're doing line art. And you can like simplify things as you go too. Like if you didn't like a line, you can kind of get rid of it. Do you start with a relatively uniform line weight that makes some bits thicker? Ah, uh, how do I explain this? Um, I kind of uh, uh, there's pressure sensitivity, right? So for this, there's like if I press harder, there's like more of a line, and then if I press lighter, there's like less of a line, right? Thank you, thank you. Thank I kind vary that as I draw, so there's already some line weight involved when I'm doing the lines. Um, but I always also go back and add more line weight. I like to play around with it more to make it better. Thank you so much for the five dollars super chat, FBI. I fed post it all over Pippa's stream and she absolutely loved it. Hope and sees it. Um, okay, the weird, weird, oh, uh, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay, FBI. Thank you for asserting your dominance in the stream of an anime girl. Odd boast, but alas. <laughs> oh god, I've never heard of that one. Odd boast, but alas. <laughs> here choosing a line to go with really really tough mm. um who's who's daddy the government no we have to ask the FBI you have to ask the FBI I don't know who daddy is I don't have one <laughs> I'm indeed daddy. <laughs>
Is that is that why? Oh my god. After all these years, I can't believe it. Um <clears throat> Don't bonk me, management. I'm praying. <laughs> I'm praying. Please don't bonk me, management. I, I, I'm a good girl. I swear. I swear. <laughs> yep. Go in there, management. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Silly Paul moment. Sorry. Uh, strangely diplomatic power prowess, but tolerably. <laughs> I am, I am diplomatic. See, I am, uh, I'm a negotiator, dude. I will Uno reverse anyone at my own expense. <laughs> You Uno reverse anyone at my own expense. It's a real strat, guys. I have comebacks, but the kind of comebacks that'll make anyone uncomfortable. Your tolerance knows no limit. I am patient and I have um I'm how do you say this? Just a clown for your entertainment. <laughs> uh, that's your thing too. Nice. I'm glad my cookies understand. Remember how my hair goes, guys. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh god. Why? Drawing in the little like strands of hair and like how you wanna separate it. It's very stressful sometimes. You don't want to put too much, but you don't want to put too little. So you're just kind of like struggling. There you go. Uh, what do you think of what what a burger ketchup? Have you ever tried it? I've been to what a burger, but I've never had their ketchup. I don't think I've tried what a burger ketchup. Is it is it any different than Heinz? Is it special? Should I try it? Is it a must try? Or is it like just overhyped? What do you guys think? I don't think I'm gonna travel for a long while, guys. I don't plan to take any more long breaks unless it's absolutely necessary and my family drags me out. Um, but like, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't plan on taking any breaks to travel, so even if you guys talk about something cool like what a burger ketchup, I would have no clue. Literally none, because I'm here streaming for you guys for the foreseeable future. Actually, I will be seeing my grandpa again for uh, the Grave Sweeping Festival. Which is like a cultural thing. In March? 
April or March? I forgot. Um, but I will still be streaming through it because uh, I think only I'm going. My sister has work. So, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you for the $5 tip, uh, punk face. We coming out of the basement. I thought we were out of the basement long ago. Also, thank you for the $2 tip, Michael David. I think I missed it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, I miss Mima already. No, I will I will be streaming through it, so... You guys won't even feel anything. It won't be any different for you guys. <laughs> um, I'll just... I'll be streaming through that one, so... Because my sister's not coming with me, so there'll be less people. I don't think my mom is going either. So... Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll just be it'll just be me so I can stream. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless people join me last minute and then it'll be it'll be a little more difficult, but yeah. Um what kind of holiday is it? Yeah, it's great. I could stream over there. Yeah, it is. It is great. Can we still miss you regardless? Even though you guys are going to see me, like, at least for four days that week. Do you feel more comfortable to call your grandpa now? A little bit. Yeah, I'm going to call him later. Grandpa Club, when he doesn't speak English, guys. <laughs> he doesn't speak English. He can't collab. There's no English. He doesn't understand. Yeah. Um, so the holiday is called Qingming. It's a holiday in which... Um, you go and honor your ancestors by visiting their graves and burning money for them. Like, not real money, but like paper money. <laughs> um... So if someone passed, uh, in your family that is dear to you... It's like, it's like... It's like the Day of the Dead for like people for like Mexico it's, but it's the same thing it's like uh you celebrate the dead but it's kind of a yeah it's kind of like day of the dead yeah yeah if you guys seen uh what's that what's that movie the marvel movie with um the marvel movie not coco coco's not a marvel movie my friend um <laughs> What's it called? Hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. Marvel. <gasps> Hold on. <laughs> Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Yes. Oh god, the audio is weird. So Shang-Chi is like, um... A whole plot point is about Qingming. So that, that's like a real holiday. It's not it's not something that uh, Marvel made up. <laughs> the more you know! It's not something Marvel made up. Uh, it's a real holiday. So... <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it's, it's not... <laughs> It's not a made-up holiday, it's real. Um, so yeah, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. Though, it wasn't that accurate of a depiction of like, what the holiday is and what you're supposed to do. No, you don't go to a magical village in the bamboo forest to visit your magical ancestors on Qingming and because the secret path will open up. No, nothing like that happens. <laughs> You go, you go. I know it's a, it's a scam. It's a scam, right? So did they did lie to you? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you just go sweep a grave. You just clean up your relative's grave, right? Uh, give them incense and spend time with them, and just it's a day of remembrance. So, uh, yeah, it's it's not. It's definitely not about magical forest village, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Sorry.
sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, back to drawing. Sorry. Hold on. I think I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. There's like, uh. I'm like looking at reference to right now, because sometimes I draw things in really late, so. Forgive me if I'm a little quiet right now. I'm sort of figuring things out as we go. Aren't we all? Aren't we all figuring things out as we go? Mm. Just trying to keep the secret passage a secret. <laughs> what? There's no secret passage! I'm literally gonna go see my grandma's grave. She's in the ground, six feet under. You know? Like a lot of your, uh, you know, your loved ones that have passed in the same way. Yeah. I'm very concentrated, yeah. Um. Uh, F. F, yes. You should go visit them. You should go visit them. You, there's every, everybody has, like, a, a dead loved one, right? Unless you're, like, a baby. <laughs> Unless you're really fortunate and you haven't lost anyone yet, then... More power to you, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of us have lost somebody. Mm. Very true. Yep. Yep. I'm no different. I've also lost somebody. <clears throat> Me, my baba, goo goo. <laughs> there, 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 there. There, there, you pure summer child. Pure sweet summer child. Has it been touched by death? There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. Nothing wrong with that. That just means you are blessed. You have made it this far in life without losing somebody. Very blessed. I am envious. Hmm. <clears throat> Timmy will become death himself. Oh my gosh. What's he gonna do? What's Timmy gonna do? Is he gonna become like the anti... Uh, the Antichrist? The four horsemen of the apocalypse? Possible. What's Timmy gonna do? What can he possibly do? What can Timmy possibly do, chat? He's become a washed Fortnite streamer. Oh no! The worst fate! But but honestly, that doesn't really bring the apocalypse for anyone else. Just for him. His life is over. <laughs> His own life is over. That doesn't affect anyone else. Timmy ruined his own life. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so slow, guys. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll concentrate. I'll concentrate a little more. I'm so sorry. There we go. Um. Uh, uh, um. 
Masterpieces take time. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I don't know. I have potato hand today, but I always have potato hand when I stream, to be honest. What day do I not have potato hand? I would like to... Um... <laughs> the day I come onto stream and I'm like, I feel like I'm God is gonna be the day the world is over. It's gonna be the day that Timmy takes over the world and becomes like... The world will end. If I ever come on stream and I'm like, wow, I feel like God. I feel like a God today, like an art God. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, who's that? Who replaced Sheena? Who the hell is that? Give us back Sheena. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh no. Somebody stole Sheena's skin. A skin walker. Oh no. <laughs> you will embrace the future. Well, you guys will accept that so readily. Really? I thought you guys would put m up more of a fight. You guys are just gonna accept the imposter Sheena. You guys aren't even gonna wonder where I am. Chat! Chat, that's a red flag. Thank you so much for the super chat, Emmanuel Castellanos. Did you know that eventually, uh, that eventually all is gonna die? Um, are you, are you okay? Yes, this is true. But we shall enjoy our time while we're here. Remember guys, we're here for a good time. <laughs> Not necessarily a long time, but a good time. Yeah. Um, I'll see. <laughs> Immortals in my chat. Oh my god. What is it like? You have a panty shrine. You've been a goddess in chat for a long time already. Oh, this is true. You guys did make a panty shrine. I am now goddess. I will now never die as long as you guys have my panties. Yeah? <laughs> no, I can never replace Jaina. Aww. Well, as long as Phase Connect keeps chugging along, I will forever exist. Hopefully Phase Connect keeps chugging. Phase Connect keeps chugging along, so I will never have to consider alternatives <laughs> to my existence. I will never have to die. As long as Phase Connect doesn't die, I won't have to die. My longevity, my life is in your hands. And Fishman's. Is this propaganda? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Nyam pasu. Nyam pasu. Hmm. Yeah, don't, don't drop the immortality totem. You know, you guys have my life in your hands. If you guys let it go, it's over for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't do that to you guys. I know you guys are, some of you are very anxious. Um. My cookies are so sweet. If I ever said that for real, for real though, like... You guys will... I, I, you guys are so sweet. You guys might, like, start crying. Like, they're holding the immortality totem, like... Ooh, Sheena, no go! I'm not strong enough to hold the totem! Sorry, I'm, like, writing fanfiction. At this point! <laughs> Oh no, it's okay. Yosh, yosh. Yosh, yosh. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> Let her cook. <laughs> Ooh, cookies. You're already crying. Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> oh god. You guys are so 
so sweet. <clears throat> Let's see. Sorry, let me uh concentrate for a second. I'm sorry I got really quiet there. Why are our chats always derailed like this? <laughs> why why does our chats always get derailed like this, guys? <clears throat> Let's say they're enhanced. Oh, uh, hold on. Thank you so much for the super chat, Ember. Mwah. I mean, the totem is a pair of panties. How hard would it be to put it on our heads? Oh, that's actually kind of smart. If the immortal immortality item was like a panty, all you guys would need to do is just put it on your heads, and then it's safe. That's actually kind of genius. I like that. I like that. That's very 500 IQ of you. <laughs> very IQ, go Hyaku! <laughs> go Hyaku IQ! <clears throat> yeah, wear them like a Lucha Libre mask. Um, thank you! <laughs> Imagine the buff. I think that's like the ultimate cookie item. Like, if you guys are RPG characters. Thank you. It would be like the greatest thank equip. You. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angry Memer, for the <laughs> for the super. It's just a very cute VTuber that hates ranch. She's just like me for real, for real. Such a waifu. Everybody, say hi to Angry. Angry is uh, another one of our video editors that's been supporting Yuki in in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another video editor. Yeah, so make sure you, you, you greet our uh, uh, <laughs> second video editor. Yeah. They do a really good job. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We haven't been releasing shorts for a little bit, guys. I'm sorry about that. I um needed a little break to refresh on ideas because I haven't really been streaming over the break, so there was like a lull in clippable stuff. Um, but we will go back to posting more as soon as my streams give us more clips. Good moments, you know? Mmm. Yeah. Shorts can't be rushed, exactly. And I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> if I'm to be honest, I'm a little tired out from um, shorts a little bit. Um, even though I don't edit them. <laughs> Angry, Yuki, Zinkro, they all edit them. Um, I'm sure they're tired too. I just want to give them a little bit of a rest right now um, Going into the new month Cause damn, there's a lot of work That they did for me mm. Yeah you guys see how my brain is turning when I'm drawing this part of the hair? Sometimes it's worth these tiny details. So sometimes my brain likes to work overtime. Like, how the hell am I going to express this part? Like physics, doing physics equations in my head. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, because hair moves like... According to gravity, right? So you're, you're thinking about the texture of the hair and how it flow down certain areas and stuff. Um, and yeah, it, it's a little difficult sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'm pretty chuffed with that though. Hold on. Yeah, we'll take care of the other side later. Wind is also a factor. Luckily, there's no not really any wind in this picture. It's very difficult, yes. Very much so. I uh am not an expert and uh Sometimes I wish I was So I don't have to suffer Every time I draw hair, but Suffering is necessary Suffering is necessary <clears throat> For art You gotta you gotta hate yourself just a little bit to be an artist Chuff, that's such a British term Where'd you learn that from? Uh... I've been using it for a while um, is it is it too on the tell? Should I stop? My words, man. My words. Should I... <laughs> is it is it too on the tell? Oh no! I don't want to be on the tell. That's bad. That's bad. That is terrible. That is a terrible development. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, don't worry about that. Rubbish, your vocabulary is brilliant, I dare say. She not the godlike line art. It's not godlike. It's not. I take way too long. Have you seen Ina line art? She's so fast. We've been here for like how long now? <laughs> two hours. A little over two hours. And I haven't like... I haven't gotten anywhere! Please, please give me godlike line arting abilities, like my Kamiyoshi. Please! I beg! <laughs> I beg! I've had enough! I've had enough of my own shortcomings! Um... Okay. Your line art is too pretty to be rushed. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, the big cope. But... But I, I appreciate it. I appreciate how you guys... Humor me. You guys humor me well. <clears throat> there, okay. I kind of figured out the, I kind of figured out the angle for the ruffles. It's quite enjoyable to watch and chat. I'm glad. Do you use vector layers when you retrace your line? No, it is all raster. I don't use vectors. <laughs> I don't know how. To, okay, I took a class. I don't know if you guys, uh, if I ever told you guys this story, but I took a vector class because I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be like, 
I gave up on being a, uh, like a true artist, like an illustrator at that point for a period of my life. And I was like, okay, what if, what if I learned how to vector? Like, what if I learned how to like, do graphic design and stuff? Cause that's still artistic, right? Um, so I took a class about vectoring and, and, um, <laughs> I failed it. <laughs> I legit have no skills when it comes to vectoring. Like, zero. So... Th there's that, you know? Um... Yeah, I failed that class. It was terrible. The teacher hated me. He's like, your design sense is good, but why can't you freaking vector? And I'm just like, it's hard, dude. He's like, he catch me like drawing stuff and he's like, you can't do that. You're, you're supposed to use the vector. And I'm like, I, I tried, I tried. I just, I can't, I can't do it. So yeah, I, I never really got that down either. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I never really tried vector art. So I guess it's a completely different style of painting. I don't really understand it. Just really don't understand it. Yeah. It's like that one guy that uses Bezier curves to render the bad Apple music video. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like that guy. Yeah. They did. Here's the thing. They did teach me how to do it. They did. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I just legit like I just it did not click with me. I was just too stupid. Sometimes you come across something and you just realize maybe you're just not built. Maybe you're just built different. You know, maybe. <laughs> There's some things in life like you're just like, okay, I just hate this. I don't like this. I'm not good at it. It's not worth the effort. Not because I'm not good at it, but because it's so frustrating and unenjoyable to me. That I will not put in the time to learn it. Um, that's what that's what vectors felt like. So I went back to trying anime girls. It really do be like that sometimes. It really do be like that sometimes. Mm. <clears throat> Hello, is Rie here? I didn't see Rie. Hello, Rie, the ketchup. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Oh oh oh, the snickle. Remember when Ray told me about the Snickle guys? Were you, you guys were there when you guys when she talked about the Snickle, right? I don't have a Snickers right now, but I will report to you, Ray, about the taste of the Snickle when I get a chance. I'm still I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the chance to try the Snickle. Currently, I have not had the opportunity. You know, you have so much to live for. I wouldn't die. I mean, I drink ketchup, but I think, I think compared to most people, I think I'm the most uh, suited towards this task in particular. I'm, I'm humanity's best chance at knowing what a snickel tastes like. That's my only talent. That's my only, uh, value in society. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, man. Um, you'll gain immense power. What if I gain immense power from it, right? What's everyone's favorite cookie? Uh, butter cookies. That was the only right answer. What if I said another kind of cookie, huh? I would, I would... <laughs> Chat, what if I said another kind of cookie? <laughs> oh my 
my god. I wouldn't do that to you guys. You guys are sweet cookies. Hold on, I'm trying to draw the sleeve. I'm struggling so hard. <laughs> ah! How do you how to draw, guys? Like how how draw a picture real questions being asked today <sighs> we'll never understand Uh, start by getting some crayons out. Does it look like I'm drawing with crayons? Oh no. Sorry, I'm like being super quiet right now. Ah, oh, trying to concentrate. Ah, oh, so hard. I like had no idea what I drew here. I'm like trying to figure out with my eyes, like what the hell did I do? What, what did I draw? <laughs> what did I freaking draw? Does that ever happen to you guys? I, I don't know if all of you are artists. I don't think you guys are all artists, but. Sometimes I draw something and I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? What is this? <laughs> what did I do? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out slowly. <laughs> Fair assumption. Watching Sheena stream is art. Um, me being confused is like half the half the content. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think I could afford all those super chat if I was an artist? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cruel question. Cruel question. Oh my gosh. All artists die right now in chat. Cruel but true. I know. I know. I know. Your sacrifice. Your sacrifice is appreciated, though. Um, non-artist cookie. Thank you. Thank you for feeding me. I, I really appreciate it. Truly. I know it's not like I'm joking, but I'm really... I'm really truly thankful. Thank you for the soup eyes. I know I sound like I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm very thankful. <clears throat> Remember taking two to three hours to do line art and now uh, 32 an hour is the most I take and it's nice. You do only- <gasps> You only take an hour to do line art? Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, friend. Okay, cookie. I see how it is. I see. How is it like being like a, a skilled god like Chad? How does that feel? Tell, <laughs> Tell me how it feels. That was a flex for sure. I'm 
I usually go for fully fine line art. Uh, that's what I used to do. But I feel like line weight is really important for giving more depth. So I started doing more line weight stuff. I just feel like it's important. But it's like more important that you keep like doing line art. I know a lot of people give up halfway. Because it is quite a frustrating process when your line art turns out uglier than your sketch. That's something that you're gonna have to like... Um... As an artist, you kind of have to work with, like work around. Hmm, <clears throat> trying to figure out how the hair is gonna work back here. You can tell I kind of skipped it, right? Like how the hair. <laughs> How is this supposed to work, man? Oh, God. Yeah, bet! Yeah, bet! Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. That's not happening right now. We're just gonna completely ignore that. That's fine. It's not there. It's not real. It can't hurt me if it's not real. Why did, why did I why did I have long hair again? Why didn't I cut my hair when I had the chance? <laughs> big big regrody my spaghetti. Okay, let's see. There it is. Arm number two. Okay, we're we're done with like this section. I wish I wish I didn't have to do it lengthwise, because otherwise if I just did this part, I'd be done. <laughs> We will not give up. I will give up on us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving it all, all my love. Okay, if I do... This... And then make like a... A gap here? I think it'll be nice. Hold on. If I, if I made this like a gap... Maybe. And then underneath, some of the blue can show through too. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think... I think that's how we're gonna do it. Yeah. I can see it. The vision. It's all coming together, baby. I'll clean that part up later. Hmm. 
Two of my favorite grandparents are streaming. Who's your other grandparent? Uh, <laughs> is it Hello Stars? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Vesper. Yeah, Vesper. He's gra He's grandpa. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy there's more grandpa, grandma VTuber. There needs to be more oldies, man. Um, he's the male version of me? Really? Same attitude? I still need to get on to watching them. I haven't... I haven't, like, gotten the chance to yet. I'll be very honest. Hmm. Still haven't quite gotten a chance to enjoy them yet, so... Ooh, how does this perspective work, guys? Hold on. I need more reference. Perspective, baby. Holy shit, your ass looks huge. Oh, uh, is it? <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be huge. Hello, Lumi. I'll just draw the waist. I'll just draw the waist right now. And then we'll, we'll deal we'll deal with this shit later. We'll deal with this shit later. Uh Yeah, babe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm here for the Sheena's. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lily. Hello. Hello, Wavy. Hi, Sheena. Came from one of your singing videos. You're awesome at singing. Is it taboo to ask for a song request? I can sing a song request for you. Thank you so much for the super wavy. Mwah. What would you like to hear? I sang at the beginning of of the stream, but it's like a skirt, right? So, um. Gosh. <gasps> Perspective so hard. Oh, yeah, bit. Yeah, bit. It looked correct as a sketch, but now that I'm drawing it, I'm like Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ooh la la, I am lost. Now that I'm line arting, it's like I'm confused. Mm. Uh, need more thick? No! I. <laughs> no! Talent for Love by Sharon Scott. I don't even know who Sharon Scott is. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, thank you so much for. Super! Angry Memer. Thank you so much. She didn't got so much cake, my shortcake is ashamed. It's really not that much cake, guys. It's foreshortened, right? It's it's foreshortened. Does it really look that weird? Oh no, now I'm doubting my anatomy. Oh shit. Oh no. Now I'm doubting everything. Oh yeah, be. Oh god. I thought my anatomy was alright, but. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It looks great, okay. Uh, I guess I'll trust you guys now. Gosh. <laughs> you guys are making me nervous. You guys are making me nervous. There we are. Mm. 
<clears throat> da -da -da. Nerf the booty? I'm not nerfing the booty. I'm literally just lining how it was lined. Uh, nothing with a little buff. No. <laughs> you guys, if I make it bigger, it's gonna look really weird. It's gonna look really, really weird. Um, looks normal to me. Good, good, good. Yeah. I can't. I can't make it bigger. This is. This is it. This is as far as we go. In terms of booty size. If you guys want massive booty art of me, you guys can commission somebody else to do that. I have nothing against that if you guys want to do that. Thank you so much! Impractical pose. Impractical pose? I'm bending down! It's like, what can I get you, Goshujin sama? <laughs> it's like, what if you're just sitting down? Imagine! This is the immersion, okay? This, this is the fan fiction. Listen up. Listen up! I'm only gonna say this once, okay? You're sitting down. In your office. It's been a long day of work. It's midday, about 3 p.m. You've gone through so much freaking paperwork. Your boss is giving you so much extra work. And then your maid comes in. She, she stands beside you. Leans down softly. You can smell her warm vanilla scent. Because she's really close to you. And she asks sweetly... Can I get you some tea or some coffee? You've been working really hard. And this is what you see when you look over your shoulder. To your left. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the narrative I told myself when I uh when I when I drew this. I was like trying to immerse myself in the in in the scenario <laughs> That's how my mind works. It's like Sheena, how do you think of compositions? Uh <laughs> Um No 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 you're not at work You're in your office in your home because you're rich you're like one of those rich like dudes in like um in in those like shoujo mangas, right? You're like just some like dude in a mansion and you work from home. And you have this office with this huge desk and this huge a library and a ballroom. Yay! Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now I've exposed the truth of what I think about. <laughs> No, how am I gold I'm literally employed! I'm employed! I'm employed by the master of the house. Gold digging mate! You guys are so dark, dude. I thought of something really cute and sweet and warm and homely and and stuff, and I'm like, oh, that's the feeling I wanted for this drawing. And then you guys are like a gold digging maid! I'm like, what? <laughs> Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> chat! Chat, who hurt you? Oh my god! <laughs> this is worse than I thought! This is worse than I thought, chat! Holy crap! Bruh! Oh my god, you wanna list? Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, you guys have mommy and daddy issues too? Oh, understandable. I should've, uh... I should have seen that coming. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, chat. Jeez, that got dark really fast. I didn't mean it that way. Holy crap. 
I was just brewing up little fantasies in my brain. And you guys just have to come and ruin it. I can't believe this. I thought you guys were cultured. Oh my god. <clears throat> I told you guys. I told you. I'm an artist. I have an artist's brain. I can cook up scenarios like uh, really, really fast. I've read enough shoujo manga and fan fictions to brew up cute scenarios. Yeah. An imagination. Very important for an artist, okay? Don't judge me now. Don't judge me now. It's a very important part of me. My imagination. My brains. Okay? It's cute in a yandere sort of way. No! Stop going on about the gold digging! Okay, anyways. I can't believe this. I can't believe you guys would def defile my sweet vanilla made fantasy like this. I can't believe this. This is why I should never share my innermost thoughts with you. You guys are gonna defile everything I love. I can't do this. Everything that I hold dear. I swear. <laughs> I hate this! I'm about to do the Anakin I hate you! <laughs> you guys are gonna make me bring out Banana Kin! Look what you've done! Waku waku! Look what you've done! Bananakin has to come out now. I can't believe this. <laughs> Why are you guys like this? Okay, I'll draw the body first, and then we will deal with... How does the bow look? I need to draw a bow here. But if if the hair is gonna cover it, then what's the point, right? Mmm, so nah. If the hair is gonna cover it, then what's the freaking point? Hmm. Real, real suffering hours here. All right, all right. Ah, don't try it, Sheena Kin! <laughs> the maid's only buttering me up because I'm her employer. You guys need to watch better shoujo animes and stop with... Stop with the most degenerate tags possible on your content that you watch. Don't think I can see right through you. Okay? Okay? I can't believe this. <laughs> oh god, a chat. I'm worried about you guys. Truly worried. Absolutely. Absolutely worried about everyone here. Daddy issue strokes went too far. Now my chat is like this. Yummy!
file saved. Okay, now I need to figure out the back of the hair situation. Um, how am I gonna do that though? <laughs> oh god. Oh, and the front, the tie too. Okay, okay, I will, I will drive. I will do my best. No problemo. Nothing's too hard for Sheena. For Amanagawa Sheena. And her cookies. Nothing's too difficult to do. With the support of my Nakama. That's how it is. Okay. Nice. Alright, let me... Make sure... Tie is drawn in. And then the... Oh, yabe na. Yabe na. Mm. Neck is here. Is it? I feel like this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong right here. Oh, that's not the neck. <sighs> what did I draw? The neck is back here. I shouldn't have erased that. Now I'm lost. Mm -hmm. And then the coat goes right here. Sorry, I am freaking confused. This is just the cloth right here. <laughs> this is just the cloth right here. The neck should be back here, so you can't see it. It goes back here. In this section. And then... The collar should go... From here. Down to here. Okay. Yeah, 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 there it is. Okay. I can see it! I can see it! And then... Oh man, you guys are seeing all the struggles today. Of my process. My horrible process. <laughs> and then the tie should go back here as well on the neck. And then... Um... What did I draw? What the hell is that? Okay. And then... This goes over the shoulder. Because it's finished. And then it goes down here. Yeah, that looks... That looks to be about right. Okay. My brain <laughs> is scrambled. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, now the hair. Now the actual hair in the back. Okay. Whew. The actual hair in the back. I haven't figured this out. Um. All right. I can cop out and do like. Hmm. I want to go look at that one picture of Ina leaning over that she drew of herself. I feel like that would be a good reference. I do think a lot of the hair would fall off to the side right here as well. So I think I can get away with doing some hair back here. Too. No, you don't want to ever use that... Uh, Somebody's like, oh, use your body to hide it. You never want to use that tactic because you're never going to get better... At drawing something, if you're gonna avoid it. And I don't- I never want to avoid things because... It's like an opportunity. It's like an opportunity to get better. If you don't avoid it. Because if you're always gonna avoid it, then you're always not gonna be able to draw it. So... Um, that's the goal today.
can draw in some back hair here. I feel like I could paint these in later too. I could paint these in later and then... There we go. Okay. Uh, I should paint some spaces and gaps in here later as well, but I can I can take care of that later. It's all gonna be blurred out anyway, so I think I don't have to concentrate too hard on this part. Hopefully. <laughs> Back of the hair. Let's see. Okay, so I'll come down from the head. Right here. Sorry, I'm trying to get it right. Uh, muzukashina. Uh, right here. Potato head, please, please, dear God, please, please. There. Okay, and then the hair will go down over here. and form a little bit of a situation back here as well. I think if I draw it in ribbons, it'll be convincing. Yeah, yeah, so I'll draw it in ribbons. Yeah, I think, I think I figured it out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I erase this. And then... <laughs> some of these parts as well. And then go back and clean it up. It should be, it should be good. Like this. There we go, and then keep doing that. <laughs> Basically keep doing that. Uh, over and over. Until the hair looks like it's draping off of her back and butt. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it, cookies. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Yeah, see, that's like the brain process when you're drawing. A lot of problem solving. You don't want to skip out on anything because there's an opportunity to learn something new. There it is. <clears throat> Sometimes it's like there's that those little victory moments you have keep you going. It keeps you, uh, it keeps you, how do you say, like, inspired? It keeps you motivated. Motivated. Yeah, it keeps you motivated. Because you figured something out that you otherwise wouldn't have if you just let it go. And that's how you become a better artist, really. You figure these little things out. <clears throat> uh, what if some hair parts... What if some of the hair parts over the shoulder? I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> but you can place the hair any, any way you want. I'm just imagining how I want to drape the hair... Um, how the movement would be for for this particular illustration. Um, but it could differ <laughs> depending on what kind of feel you're trying to give. Um, 
Sometimes there's gonna be hair that comes back down here too. If you guys want, you can also figure out how the hair drapes down here as well. That's also an option available. But then if you draw too much hair, it'll take away from... the rest of the illustration, so I don't want to, like, put too much. Because then it'll, like, cover up the important parts, which... I'm not sure if I want to do. Right? Yeah, but some hair can come over like that. As well. Yeah, that would work, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it's just a lot of playing around right now. Da, 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 ba, ba. Important parts! And you don't want to leave the eye in the wrong direction for no good reason. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Exactly, but you can like try it. If it looks good, you can keep it. Um, if it doesn't, you can always change it later. And it's easy to do that with, uh, digital. Hmm. <clears throat> there it is. And then, if it gets messy over here, it looks really messy to me, so... I'm gonna go back and clean it up a, a, just a little bit. It's just constant cleanup. It's okay if you're always, like, kind of erasing things and going back. That's fine. You'll get better at erasing, too. I was never good at erasing things. Because I always felt like it made it look really messy. Um, sometimes you just gotta overcome that. Perfectionist instinct in you? It's okay. It's okay to erase. Come back to something later if it's not perfect. If it's not the way you like it. Another strand right here. So give it some texture so it's not all gonna be flat, right? So sometimes I like to add like these extra pieces like this that go out from the hair. That stick up, because its hair is not like perfect. It's impossible for hair to be perfect, right? So... Sometimes you can add little... Textures like this in there. Make it a little more... Interesting. There we go. Uh, there's something here I don't like, so I'm going to... Clean that up as well. Here as well. Here we are. Details are everything, guys. It makes the difference. It makes all the difference. The details are really what... You, like, you don't want to put too many details, obviously, but a lot of the times, it's going to be what makes your art stand out. Um, just if you put that little extra love and care into it, um, people tend to notice. So 
Sometimes if you don't like something too, you can go back and try something else too. Like, would it look better if it draped like this? And it does to me, so... That's what we're gonna go with. And then just keep erasing. <laughs> erasing the stuff you don't like? Oh. Hold on. It does look better like this to me. So we're gonna stick with that. Perfect. Mm. Yeah. Like there's another strand on top there. Uh, and now... Some people just handle the details with their color skills. Well, you can go back and do that too. Um, but I, I'm, I like my line art because I'm not that strong of a painter yet. So, uh... Yeah, I, I have to let my line art carry me a little bit because I'm not... The best colorist in the world, so mm, that's why. But if you're if you're uh, you just want your art to accentuate like what you're good at, right? So, hmm. It took me very many years though to get to a point where I can line art like this. Um, I used I remember when I was younger. I remember I used to go to. One of my favorite artists, they did art streams like a long time ago. And I would go in there and ask, how does your line art... How is your line art so clean? Um, and she... I remember now, like... I go look at that art piece again and I'm like... Oh, it wasn't like the most impressive... Crazy line art. It was just the fact that it was so clean. Compared to the stuff that I can do... When I was like a kid, right? And she just kept saying, you just need to keep practicing. So I really hated that answer because it's like a non-answer. But now I feel like I'm in more of a situation where now I'm streaming art and I'm getting these questions. And the answer really was just to keep practicing. <laughs> the answer really was just to keep practicing. So I've become what I've hated the most. Yeah, so there's that. Um, the cycle continues. It really does. It really do be like that sometimes. Um, but I'll be very honest. Um, my line art didn't really improve until I got a screen tablet. Um, which is like the tablet you draw directly on the screen. Like, um, what I'm using now. I struggled so much with the normal tablet. And everybody always told me. Like, you'll see those posts all the time on Twitter and, like, wherever. Like, oh... You can... A pen tablet is just fine. You uh, you don't need... You don't need a screen tablet to make good art. Which, you know, it's, it's true, right? Um, but... For me, I didn't really see a huge leap in improvement... In my comfort and, like, um... In... In the way I drew until I got the screen tablet because it just wasn't suited towards the uh, um, pen tablet since I was a traditional artist for so long it just didn't click right um so yeah if you're really struggling with the pen tablet after a year or two I would suggest giving the screen tablet a try hmm yeah, if you're a hobbyist, you don't really need to like... Hmm... You don't need to get like a Cintiq. If you're just a hobbyist, you can get like an iPad. Like the iPad Pro, it does a great job. I started on an iPad Pro... Um... When I got back into drawing. And then I realized it was so much better for me. So I ended up... Taking out the money and like buying a screen tablet after a couple of years of doing that, so yeah, that that's like uh, honest advice that I would give. Like if if a pen tablet isn't working out and you still love drawing, but it just isn't working out, try something else. 
Uh, don't let other people like bully you into staying with your tools that isn't working out for you, is my advice. Mm. But then again, some people also can't work with a stream screen tablet. They're like, they legit only can work with a pen tablet. So you just gotta figure out what kind of artist you are, what suits your needs. Ignore the people that are trying to tell you that it's a you problem. <laughs> Yeah, so, hmm. I always knew I wanted to splice, I had to save up for a bit. Yeah, if you know what you want, you know what you want, you know? Hmm. Huon seemed to make some cheap but decent tablets for amateurs. Uh, I'm using a Huon right now. <laughs> but my Huon cost me. How much did it cost me at the time? Almost $1,000? It was like $1,000? There's a 4K one now that costs a little more. I really want the 4K one, but um, I see no use in spending that money right now. So I'm still with my non, my QHD instead of the 4K. Yeah. Did the transition take you long to get used to? It took me about like, three months of constant use to get used to the screen tablet. Every time you change tablet, there's going to be a bit of a adjustment period. You're not gonna pick it up right away. I think at first I really suffered uh, with my Huon. I like almost was, I was really frustrated. It's normal to be frustrated at first. Yeah, I was extremely frustrated with it, um, but I kept at it and now it's like, I, it's like breathing. It's really easy. Yeah. Mm. XP pen is cheaper. Okay, so before you guys buy your street screen tablet, I just want to say one thing. Um, I know there's cheaper screen tablets uh, that don't have laminated screens and don't have glass screens. And I just want to tell you, you guys want the laminated and the glass screen. You guys know why? Because glass does not scratch as easily as plastic. So if you get an XP pen without the glass or the lamination, so you're going to have two issues. One, there's going to be space between where you put your pen and where your cursor shows up because the glass is like there's a thickness right between the display and the glass you don't want that that is that will make your life a lot harder not that you can't adjust to it you can but it's gonna make your life a little harder because it doesn't like feel like you're actually drawing on the paper right um second thing uh the plastic screen scratches really, really, really easily. Like, really, really easily. So, um, it'll wear out really fast because when you press hard, it's gonna scratch the screen, right? Yeah. So, uh, you don't want the plastic screen. You don't want the plastic screen. You want the glass screen, especially if you're gonna be working for long hours. Yes. Yeah, so those are the two things I knew I wanted out of my tablet when I bought it. So, yeah. Mm. Please do your research well before you spend thousands. Because this stuff isn't cheap. This stuff isn't cheap. Your tools are very important. Yeah. Pricey, but it's an investment. Exactly. Yeah. Any, it's anything worth investing in. It's going to be a little bit pricey, right? Yeah. But I just wanted to say it here, just in case, like, you know, <laughs> you guys are thinking of, you know, picking up drawing, buying a tablet. There's a lot of options out there for you. And also, just because something works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you, you know? There's a long journey in figuring that out. You're about to embark on, and I, I wish you luck. Hmm. All right. Um, now I think we're done with the line art. Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna go through the uh correction phase, where I'm just gonna do a sweep of the drawing in a hundred percent and clean up all the little annoying like things in it. So we're gonna merge our layers down. I like to merge the body separately. Yes. 
see if this everything is now separate than the face because sometimes I get really finicky about the face And I end up having to like Edit it later on so I like to merge things separately I'm just very anxious even in my drawing so <laughs> It's not a requirement but recommended Also, uh, you guys were wondering, why is your canvas so big? I guess, I bet some of you are wondering, like, why do you draw so big? Because, uh, here's a trick. If you draw in really high resolution, you can always shrink it, and the mistakes aren't, like, as obvious. <laughs> so, like, you see, this kind of messy here, right? But I can clean it up a little. I can clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up to the best of my ability, of course. But sometimes, it's just gonna look kind of jank, right? But for some reason, right? When you zoom out... It looks perfectly fine! <laughs> so, you can kind of like hide some of your jankiness uh, by drawing on a big canvas. Yeah. <laughs> Another tip and trick if you guys want to do smooth, clean line art. Sometimes it's not actually that clean. It's just because uh, um, the, the resolution is huge and they shrink it. Yes. <laughs> it's a pro gamer move! Pro strats! See how jank this is? You're like, ew, so freaking crunchy. You zoom out. Oh, it looks fine. <laughs> Uh, you'll notice this. You'll notice this with super pro artists too. They do the exact same thing. Yeah, that's why artists are like, "Don't zoom in on my art, please." Like even even the most pro of artists, they're like, "Don't zoom in." <laughs> it's something. It's something everyone is kind of uh, just kind of knows. It's like, okay, I, I won't zoom in. <laughs> See how jank this is? If you zoom in, it's still freaking jank, right? You zoom out, it looks fine. <laughs> you guys see this? Oh, that's kind of crunchy, guys. But it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Gives it gives it texture. We're, we're good, we're good. Alright, now we're gonna do the details. There's some other stuff here that I need to draw in. So, I'm gonna choose a different color to do this for now. Uh, we need to draw in my scissors. And stuff like that. So... Uh, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. Um... I have to put my scissors here. Uh... Drawing objects is really hard for me. So, we're going to go uh, use the shape tools. I'm gonna show you guys every trick in the book. To get a cohesive thing. Why draw a circle when the program does it for you, right? Okay, I want the I want it to be thicker, so maybe maybe not that. Okay, we'll do four. So one one circle. Right? Okay. And then we're gonna move it. The scissors and my hair, right? <laughs> ah, you guys. Getting all my tricks today. We're gonna duplicate it. Place it. All right. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna merge that down. So that's one object, right? And now we're gonna put more circles. So we're, we're gonna add another layer. Make another circle that's smaller.
Oh God. Why work harder? When you can work smarter, chat. And if it's too, it's too big. So edit transform. You can also do this with vectors, but again, I, I suck at those, so... So we're, we're not gonna do vectors, but you can also do this in vectors, if you guys know how. Um, that is also available to you. As a tool. Hmm. Okay, so now we got a second circle. We're gonna <laughs> copy-paste it. We're gonna move it. To the other side. There we are. And now they're like perfect. They're like perfect shape. They're like perfectly shaped, okay? Um <laughs> not not a flaw. Um, and there's just enough of a irregularity that it still doesn't look like too perfect, right? And merge that down. And merge that down. Alright. And now, straight lines, too, for objects. Very important. We're also going to use a straight line tool. Hold on, I forgot how to do this. Okay, so... Use a straight line tool again. And draw in the rest. Right? Okay, so now you got the basic shape. Right? Yeah, we're making my scissor hair hairpin. Yeah. Perfect. Oops, hold on. I did something wrong. There it is. Okay, so that is all one layer. I'm gonna go erase it, so we're gonna erase the inside of it. Right here. And now we're going to draw in... The ends of my hair clips. Um... And now, uh, just looking at the angle. So I'm sitting here. I think the shadow, not the shadow, but the um, underside of it, because it's a 3D shape, right? The 3D shape, you can go ahead and express that as well. You wanna. Make sure... You can also use the line tool for this too. To give it a little more like uniformity. If you're unconfident with your lines. And that's a scissor hair clip. So now you're like, but that's red. How are you going to make it black? How are you going to make it black? So now we're going to do an al uh, alpha mask. Button on the layer. And now we're going to color it black. <laughs> easy, easy. Now after you do that, you can go ahead and erase the inside of it. So then you'll have your object and it's gonna be clean. Nice. Very, very, very simple. Hmm. No need to fear circles when you're doing digital art. Nobody's gonna judge you. If you just use what's available to you. I missed something there also, I realized. I'm gonna go back and draw it in. Wanna take your time with the erasing too. Because if you're not exact, it can ruin the look. So 
so... Just take your time with this. And yeah, we got a very, like, cohesive looking scissor. Right? Um, and then now, I think I missed some, like, little bit of stuff there. So we're going to go ahead and... Draw that in as well. Oh no. It would... There's a little bit of a perspective here as well. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot! It's fine, it happens. Hmm. Now, if my hands could cooperate, that would be very cool. Very cool of you, potato hands. Very cool, very cool. Sorry if my nose is a little stuffed today. I, I'm dealing with some sort of allergy. <clears throat> it's like a lot of phlegm in my throat today. My teacher was also saying that my voice sounded a little wet. A little croaky today, he said. A little croaky. Hmm. Um, of course I have allergies, yeah. I have allergies. I think a lot of you do. It's not like it's a really strange thing, right? Alright, so I got a, I got a scissor. I got a scissor hairpin in there. Looks very, it looks very uniform. Very put together, very pro. Okay. And now my bow. <laughs> my bow. I didn't draw my bow yet. Mm. Pollen season! I know! Uh, I think I'm just gonna get a lot of honey. And like, um... Eat the honey, like local honey helps. If you consume local honey. Thank you for the sub! Thank you! <laughs> and then now, I think I'm gonna put in... So this, I might need to do a sketch. So sometimes it's hard to visualize, right? So I, I just get that. I just put another layer on, and then I'm trying to imagine how this bow would look like here. So it would be the middle here. It would be. Something like that, and then the back would be... Sometimes, you, you just need to... Take your time. <laughs> and figure something out, cause... Cause it's sometimes kinda hard. Like, I'm kind of stumped right now. It's like doing a math problem. And I hate math. But I like drawing. <laughs> uh, there it is. Uh, and then the other side it would be... Other side too would be like this. Right? And then Huh, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I take a look at my own head. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so sometimes I do stuff like this, and then the inside thing. There's like a ribbon right here. And then there will be the triangle thing somewhere here. 
There we are! Okay. Does mint control pollen? How does mint control pollen? I didn't know mint controlled pollen. Then no honey can combat pollen allergies. They can! Okay, so what you would do when you get allergies is you go, would go to your local farmer's market. Farmer's market. Yeah. And then uh, what you would do is you would buy local honey from... Like, from your, like, region. So all those flowers are pollinated by... Uh, by your the bees that are nearby, right? And it's made by the pollen that is of... Uh, that is in the air. Basically, in your area. So when you ingest it, it helps your body recognize that not to fight it, right? I do that every single year to avoid, like, the worst. The worst of it. Highly recommended, guys. We're learning a lot today, huh? We're learning a lot. <laughs> Hmm. We're learning a lot. You guys are learning a lot from me. <laughs> I hope it's useful. Hmm. No need to spam. Spam? I don't know. The hair the hair clip looks correct. Okay. I think I think guys, let me zoom in for you guys. I I did draw it wrong. I did draw it wrong. We're supposed to be crossed. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. They're supposed to be crossed. Ah, it's fixable. Alright, cool, cool. It's not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. Uh... Hold on. Eh, 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 eh. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay, let me. I can fix that. That's pretty easy to fix. Hold on. All right. So that will be... Hold on. Mm. There we are. Hold on, which layer is it on? Holy crap, there it is. And then this is wrong, so I will have to fix that too.
I don't think that's gonna work, guys. I'm gonna have to get rid of all of this. Hmm. Up there, I think. Yeah. No. Okay, there it is. I think that is what we're gonna do. Ah, now I have to go back and fix all this. clean as it was before, but it'll have to do. There it is. All right. <laughs> All right. There it is. Here we are. There, that's all the change we're gonna do to it. I don't care which which side is supposed to be on top or which side is on the bottom, doesn't matter. Close enough. It doesn't matter. Some of you are pickier than me. <clears throat> um, let's keep going. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and draw everything else in. This part. There we are. One. Hmm. There it is. <clears throat> no wonder you hated organic chem. What does organic chem have to do with anything? Chemistry? I don't think there's a lot of crossover there, my friend. Oh, uh, let's see. All right. Embrace everything below here. There we are. And then on this layer, erase all the hair on top. Or erase all the crossover. There. One. And then the other one. I think it's only... Wow, it's so confusing to look at. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um... Bound orientation matters? It's just a drawing, guys. It's just a drawing. It's just the drawing, we're not doing chemistry. You guys are stressing me out! <laughs> you guys are stressing me out, man! Seriously! Okay, um... <clears throat> doing O-chem in my chat, really! Hmm. All right, 
There we go. Nope, that's too long. We'll do it here. I think that's good. Right here! No. So, nah. I think that right there is good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now we're gonna go under and erase everything else underneath. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I'm trying to rush it now, guys, because uh, I really want to finish this today and then. Not the entire drawing, but just like. <laughs> Not the entire drawing, just, just the line art, because I have to color it tomorrow. Or later today. I have to finish it, so. <laughs> Running out of time. Mm. There it is. Raid! Oh, hello, Juna! Hello! Welcome! Welcome, Raiders! Hello! What were you guys doing? Thank you for sharing your community with me. Thank you for the eel raid. Hello, hello. How are you? Okay, let me let me give you let me give you let me give you Juno, let me give you a wrench. There. Wrench given for Juna! Welcome, welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, we're drawing we're drawing me uh, for Valentine's Day, just a maid outfit. Hello. What are you guys doing? I love, I love Idol EN's gen, uh, Idol EN. You guys are so cute. You guys are adorable. Mm. <laughs> All of you guys are so talented. Juna is like a mommy eel. She's like a mommy eel, very sweet. <laughs> very sweet. I sat on you. I sat on you too. <laughs> so, so wrong, hey. <laughs> Sarang he? Sa sa I know it's it's sarang it, sarang it, but it's it's I just like to butcher it because just in case Irie is here, I'm sorry, I <laughs> If Irie is here, I'm so sorry. Um sometimes I just like to butcher it for funsies. Mm. What? I'm not Korean, dude. I don't know any Korean. Only the cringe Korean from like the memes, like the Opar, Sarang Hey, Saran Rat. <laughs> the cringe Korea boo memes. Those are so funny. Okay. <sighs> Hold on, I, I realize I'm still drawing these wrong. I'm still drawing these wrong. <laughs> Holy crap! When will I when will I get good, guys? When will I get good? This is so bad. Okay. Anyang, anyang, hello. I don't think that works as well as the the Japanese ones. Like Bayanara, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's it's not the same. It doesn't have the same effect. Yeah. Um. Sorry, sorry for going quiet, guys. It's... <laughs> sorry, guys. Come in there. Chat has a term 
Cameron, your hair clip is rotationally symmetrical. I don't know. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Chat, what are you doing? Why are you doing geometry in my freaking chat? I'm an artist. I have no idea what mathematical geometry is. I just think of cube in head and then rotate it in my brain. That's what I do. That's that's my job. Yeah, very very cool, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> oh god, chat. You guys killing me. Absolutely killing me now. It's an art thing? I don't know. I just draw. I just draw. I don't think about all that. I don't think about all that. Delete layer. There it is. Okay, freaking that took like 10 years, dude. This freaking side of the bow situation. The backseaters are speaking for others now. I can't believe that you guys can backseat art. I didn't know I didn't know that was a thing, guys. <laughs> I didn't know that it was possible. To backseat an art stream until recently. Every single time I have an art stream. Chat's like, oh, let's backseat her. I don't know if it was possible, but it is. It has happened multiple times on my stream. You guys are you guys are amazing, you know that? You guys will find a way. Not even an artist. Wow. Wow. I have no words. Why don't you backseat chat for a try? I've been trying to do that the entire time. This was supposed to be an art lesson. You guys were supposed to learn something from this. There was supposed to be a, a catchphrase or something in there. Like a... <laughs> there was supposed to be... A lesson here. Somewhere, but I don't think that I succeeded today at all. <laughs> I don't think I succeeded in teaching you guys. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go. Almost done. Hey. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, the bow is finally done. Uh now final pass. Final pass. You're so cute. That's a success. Thank you. The more you know, what do you guys know? How to backseat art? <laughs> I was talking about organic chem because it's actually Fauna that took that. Do I look like Fauna to you? Am I green? Am I green, chat? Talking about other... Why do you guys keep talking about other weird people in my chat? What does Fauna have to do with my stream? Go watch Fauna instead then, God! Are you serious? <laughs> Go watch Fauna instead then. Go talk Okem in her chat. She's lovely, I'm sure. Gee. Hmm. 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 I have no more words. No more words for chat. No more. I gave you guys all my secrets to my line art, and yet, this is what I get in return. Hmm. Hmm. Apologize. Apologize. <clears throat> <sighs> it's 
very nice line art. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just perfecting it now. We're just fixing all the mistakes and... Hopefully we can... Ship it, uh, soon. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um... <clears throat> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna try something else. Sometimes I line things, it just doesn't look good at all. Uh, but we're just gonna move on because I don't have enough time to be picking over every little single detail. All right, we're gonna save this. And that is our line art for today! Yeah, so we came from... Uh, let's see... I'm gonna put everything in the folder first. So we came from this... Right? So this is the sketch. And now we got our line art. So, sketch and line art. So, that is the steps that you would take. And now, um, this will be where you could decide how to color. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. There's a lot more detail and it's just cleaner. So, like, this is just very simple. You want to get where you want to place everything. But it's clean enough for you to you to know kind of where everything is. And obviously a lot of things change from this step to this step. A lot of things get filled out a little more. So yeah. <laughs> Alright. And that concludes our stream today, I think. Hold on. What time is it? What time is it? Oh yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's almost seven for me. Um, that means I'm gonna sing one song for you. One person requested a song earlier, uh, but I didn't know the song they requested. So you guys can request one more before we end. Um, let's see. And turn on the reverb again. <laughs> and then... Okay, also thank you, Zuar, for the $20 tip! Thank you! Uh, I don't think I saw that earlier, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. I think I missed some of these. Hold on. Ang uh, angry Memer, thank you for the super chat. Shouldn't have got so much cake. My shortcake is ashamed. <laughs> Your shortcake? I don't have... I mean, I have a bubble butt, but it's not like that much cake. Also, thank you, Ember, for the super chat. You must learn to love the corruption. I am not like that tag, but I was thinking of something nice and vanilla for you guys and you guys decided to make it weird. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. That's your fault. That's on you, my friends. That's on you. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, file save. Uh, we're going to... Where is... <laughs> I can try Zankyo Sanka again because it's the song I learned today or you guys want another song up to you I know I sang it like right in the beginning so a lot of people didn't hear it but <laughs> you guys can rewind the chat again hmm? you guys can rewind the stream yeah up to me up to you try it again okay fine I'll try it again I'll try it again hold on hold on oh shit oh oh shit hold on <laughs> uh, let me turn this on. <clears throat> and then lyrics, get the lyrics. I, I closed it. Song kyo song ka. Song kyo song ka. There it is. <clears throat> I'm a little tired now, so we'll see how this goes.
da 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 I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. ただ一人マウスやたがえない痛い虫でばあてな色も任すように真空の過去そう哀れこの先どんな辛い時も口先よりも胸を張って抱いた夢を狩りを全部たどるだけ逃げ出すため心までピタじゃないだろう声を枯らしてもえる花のように闇間の照らしたら曖昧すぎる世界も夜紅して夜を越えて朝を描くような赤やかんでおのあのあどんなに深い後悔も Okay, still tripping up over the freaking uh, tongue twister part. Oh, that part's really hard. <laughs> Uh, the tongue twister part is still is still very difficult for me. Mm. But hey, we're making it through the song. That's that's what matters. <laughs> okay, turn on the mm, this again. There we go. All right, and that concludes our stream today. Sorry if it was a little slower paced towards the end. I was rushing to get the line art done. Um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Yeah. Um, and being patient, and being patient with my art because I'm kind of a slow worker. My brain works kind of slow. I'm still learning a lot of things. So I really appreciate your patience and your love. Yeah, thank you. Um, now, I think we're gonna raid Irie. She is playing King Kong. I didn't know King Kong had a game, but I, I can't say I'm very surprised. So we're gonna give her a raid, okay? Yeah? Thank you for the twenty dollars super cool Matic. Thank you for thank the informative you, and entertaining art and that to Sheena. Thank you so much, Marigato. Thank you so much. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Um. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow we are playing Bloodborne D Make with Crunchy Sheena. I don't know if you guys have seen. I know a lot of you have seen Crunchy Sheena, but Crunchy Sheena. Crunchy D make Sheena will return tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. Bye bye. I love you. Thank you for joining me again. Good night. <laughs>